Hello. Hello. The game running. I was impressed by how early you arrive, Pop Hat. Just get like a phone oh, notification or something. <laughs> when I go live. Because I think you were also the first to comment on my upload recently, a few days ago. It was another classic Worso back. Okay, ignore the, uh, chair noises. Well, I have noise suppression on these days, so I think some of my background noise is being removed. But some of my clicking and clacking of my chair and keyboard inevitably must get picked up. Let's game. You do not have something to resume. I just enter that chapter to look at the uh, some of the new recruitable units. What I determined when I scouted out that chapter is that I wanted to use Wendy and Lelena. Wendy for having a good skill and good base stats, and Lelena for having a truly exemplary skill, a very, very good skill. I just gonna speculate and say that probably not a lot of horses, but the hammer will probably be of some use. I only four uses. I probably need to save that for the boss, actually. Ah, that explains it. Yeah, I'm gonna actually keep the hammer out of my inventory so I don't like use it early. Since the boss is like truly insane stats, my hammer is pretty low on uses. I wanna save all of them for the boss. So instead, I'll carry around another hand axe. If the chapter is hard, I'll just promote Deke. If it's easy, let's maybe get a couple more levels. Another axe is actually a reasonable weapon for potentially boss killing. I have a crit boost from uh, all of Deke's supports. So I could reasonably get like a coin flip crit rate. So that's another option we have for boss killing besides the hammer. Hi, Dooming! If we see a tough enemy, maybe we can kill our exit. We'll hold that as a weapon for maybe purposes. Sell this javelin. Get a bigger one. Yeah, but I've had these uh, super frequent long streams lately. It's kind of hard to be up to date if you truly want to see everything. I am not streaming tomorrow, though, because it's Easter. So... If you are dedicated to the idea of being caught up, there is some solace in the fact that there's going to be a gap. Let's uh, grab this other steel bow. Silver and iron are light enough to use without a speed penalty, but steel bow is a pretty good generic one now. She's getting kind of fast, she has 15. I'm going to do healing stabs. Well, I can uh, carry this physic as an emergency option. That seems good. Clarine's got mend on deck. That's fine. Ellen's got an emergency staff in case she needs to get, even get deployed. Will she get deployed? Probably not. That was a way. You're not in use. Use that weapon to someone else. I'll definitely deploy Zealot. So let's give him some weapons. What's his con stat? He has 13. He's being weighed down by the, uh, the Steel Axe. So how about an Iron Axe? Steel lances do not weigh him down, that's fine. We can give him a steel sword, and that's the full triangle. And maybe a fresher javelin. I bought a lot of them, I can always sell the ones that are less, uh, less uses. Do some cleanup. Sell all these. Okay, I think I've done a... I mean, I might like buy another men's staff for Sol, just in case. I have kind of high HP on some units now. So having a, a chunkier heal might actually be relevant to characters like Deke if he needs a big heal. And Deke's HP is getting up to 40 at this point. Yeah, like, 
Weapons, weapon triangle being a percentage damage increase would be a way to make it scale into late game. That'd be kind of cool, but it would be harder to do the mental map in your head. But that's something I considered. I couldn't do it in like FE build or ROM hacking, but I was like messing around in like a like a Windows like FE engine, uh, Lex Talonis, and I created a skill that would like make weapon triangle do percentage based scaling instead of flat for damage. And I thought that was like an interesting little test. I don't know how it would actually play if people would like that or not. But yeah, weapon triangle is mostly for accuracy, not for the damage of it past a point. Even though you don't always need it for the accuracy. Let's get going. Just checking. I think there might be some original dialogue to the second here. Um. Yeah, this is probably all the same. I'll skip for it. Is there another scene after this, though? Okay, so they went with the Astolfo translation for this. I think someone made fun of me. I think my brother made fun of me for calling this guy Astolfo um, when I was doing my FE6 No Damage uh, playthrough, because he's either Astolfo, Astoria, or Astol based on the translation. But they actually went with Astolfo for this one. Yeah, this, since Walt is talking, that some that some part of this is original. I don't really remember the original FE6 script at all because I didn't like it very much, but... This is uh, definitely an original scene because it's Roy and Walt, so that entire thing was probably original dialogue. I just kind of skimmed it. It seemed serviceable, I guess. I kind of like the idea of making Roy more emotional about Lelina. Um, and making her more of an actual character that matters in the story. So, I think I would agree with adding scenes there. I don't mind having scenes where Roy talks to Walt either. I think replacing, like, Merlinus dialogue with Walt is fine. Because not like Merlinus is relevant. He's just kind of, like, a servant. So, having people that Roy can connect with, sure, why not? Let's put good characters up front. So, obviously good characters are Deke. And then just stop using Sue and call it, call it good. I guess I'm still deploying like a million healers. I don't actually have a problem with doing so because um even if Ellen is not here to like be used long term, I do get use out of Demoiselle. So. We're gonna definitely replace her. Uh Lilina just has like a better version of that. I'll show the uh, Lilina skill once we uh start the chapter. Just uh I check my deploy formation one more time. We just put. Oh, I can't even put boars in the back. Well, let's put like healers in the back. I can always like carry them too. Saul is the most important one. He can be up front. Don't really need Chad because I get a Stolfo, but like. Or whatever. Okay, there's Lena. Yeah, I don't remember that line being in the original at all. That seemed like it was written. This skill is busted. This is just really strong. I really... One of the ways I've been getting through these chapters in hard mode of the extremely inflated enemy and the enemies having a bunch of skills has been what I've been calling aura stacking, or sometimes I've been calling it super deke, because I've just been, like, taking as many skills like this as possible and putting them all onto one unit, and that one unit kills everything. So yeah, I think I'm gonna- any, any unit that has a good skill like this, I'm, they're just gonna make it into my army because the amount that you can stack is just ridiculous, because we also have, um... Drive Strength for 4 Strength. Saul has... Drive Speed. 4 Speed. Roy has Rally Spectrum which I can use, and I can move Roy out of the way to make room for other characters. So... And then I also have, like, mitts on the healers, like, uh... Opposite gender, takes less damage thing, so I can stack a crap ton of auras onto any one unit. Yeah, it's Path of Exile crap. Or Slayer up front. 
Let's check for like uh, effective weapons. Because some of these enemies have silver, we've definitely seen a horse slayer. Random killers. Well, there's a lot of stuff to be wary of. These are scary when they're this accurate. Sheesh, 99 hit. Oh, his skill stat's really high. Hi, Seraph. Is that another horse slayer? This okay, that's the same one we know from earlier. We've seen the wolf feel. Lots of silvers. Man, silver weapons are standard in chapter eight. How? What kind of weapon scaling are they going to do later? Are they going to start giving enemies braves? Like, what? What kind of? Are, are enemies going to get skilled? Oh my god, this enemy is so strong. Jesus Christ. That's just that's a nightmare. A shunner can double with a either a drive speed or a darting blow. We also have a Horse Slayer. We're probably going to need it if we're finding Paladins like this. I didn't realize there'd be mounted units in this chapter. Are they just like... Not many mounted units. They're just down here. I can always pull the Horse Slayer and the Halberd and such out of Convoy. And that will help me take them out. Um, and otherwise, we don't have any other horses unless they show up as reinforcements. It looks like we can... Immediately... This is the Project Ember door right here. A uh, PE added this to the game, so you don't have to go on the giant spiral across the entire map. That gets us to the Lena quicker, that gets us to the treasure quicker. Makes it easier to intercept Kath, who spawns here. Um, the Ostian group is also here on turn 1, so we can use them immediately if we are brave enough. There are people that immediately threaten them. Uh, we have this Adept Archer, because that's a normal thing to have. Do you have a Javelin? Do you have a Javelin? Yes. Javelins, Javelins. So two enemies that can hit this group. Do we have any of our own? We have a short spear on Wendy. Another hero crest. They're giving the promotional items are like super generous in this, which is a very different feel from vanilla. How's the game coming along? Uh, yesterday's stream was a, a string of very difficult chapters that we overcame by just like uh, how strong our units have become and by stacking uh, OP skills. The highlight of last stream was I think uh, Dorothy um, has. Drive Strength, plus 4 Strength to all allies, and I saved the better one for last, is Sol is like an S-tier unit. And we had a lot- we made a lot of jokes, uh, comparing how Sol and Ellen are, you know, already this kind of, like, weighted dichotomy in vanilla, how Sol is just, like, better base stats, better growths, better weapon rank, and now he has a way better skill. Ellen has lived to fucking serve. I'm definitely thinking... If we use Deke, we can afford to enemy phase perhaps both soldiers and the archer if we're on this tile. And we can also get some defense on him because we could put a rally before going there. Now is he they have pretty high damage, so how much defense could we give him? We could do a Clarine support, and we could also put Ellen on this tile for some more uh mitigation. We can uh, put on Rally. Let's go for it. Let's uh, have Deke fight three enemies. The hand axe equipped. Now we are going to need to... Oh, if I want to do this, my units are in bad deploy, because I want Clarine to be here. Or, I want Clarine to be where Roy is, and I want Ellen to be where... Uh, north of Roy. So, because I've decided this is my turn 1 plan, I'll just like really quickly redo the deploy. Because they both they both need to be closer. I still want Shauna to be close, so... Replace some other people. And... Resave. And now turn one, we have a plan. Let's not uh, get Roy in the way this time. Okay, let's find the range of the archer. Perfect. We go there, we go equip the hand axe. That one is here, and that uh, gives plus two defense onto Deke. Oh, this guy has a. Ch we have to remove her. That's fine. Plus defense for Deke. We have this uh, big support. So that's still two defense on Deke. Is he still fine? Um, maybe I'll try and lure the Javelin onto someone else, knowing that we have to actually uh, deal with this. So the Javelin can potentially go for Dorothy, because Dorothy has less defense. And then we'll give her a drive speed. And a support bonus. One of your friends ships Deke and Dorothy. That's really funny. Yeah, no, they're so unbelievably good in this. Like, I was shocked when they buffed Deke. I, like, I wasn't shocked to see them being to see Rucker be buffed, but like, I wasn't expecting Deke to have axes and completely show up the Axe Brothers like that. 
And on top of the axes just being buffed massively, because typically early game FE6, you think, swords. Because of all the axe users. But let's look at my deke. Let's look at his weapon ranks. I have not been using fucking swords! <laughs> Absolutely not! You got scrub filtered in chapter four. Chapter four was hard. I, that's not shameful. That was that chapter was fucked up. I mean, you could look at my my stream file. I, I not only got completely surrounded and was it was super tense. I lost all of the uh, the loot. Oh hey, yeah, Stolfo. Let's look at his uh, stats. Hey lizard, uh, how'd your stream go? Yeah, um, I don't know if it's all mercenaries, but Deke does. Uh, so the Axe Brothers are useless because Deke has, uh, can use the Halberd and the Hammer, which are really good in this. Um, on top of having a better skill, because the Axe Brothers' skills, like, don't work. Uh, or at least Lot's skill is bugged and does nothing. Fiery Blood is actually pretty good. Deke has good base stats. I got kind of screwed screwed on my growth, so his speed should be, like, probably 17 or something here. But yeah, Deke is crazy. 100% 100, 100 HP growth has been huge, too. My god, Deke really is just built different. Akir, like, okay, so Akir has really high base speed, and he has this this skill. So he has infinite speed, and he's bulky. Um, he just has to wait to promote to get axes, but there's no way he's bad. I'm just going to focus my training on Windy. I'm going to do, like, Windy, Lelina support. So I think that Windy and uh, Lelina have really, really good skills. Really good skills. You know, this, this game buffed a bunch of top tiers, because Rucker got his crit rates doubled. He has a skill that just doubles his active crit rate, so he can hit 100% crit unpromoted now instead of promoted. Shauna got a huge, huge buff to all of her growths for just no reason. Oh, I forgot to move the Ostians. I'm not used to them uh, existing on turn 1. That's my fault. It's a huge missed opportunity there, because I could have had my short spear. I forgot- I forgot everything! I just forgot there were other units on the map! Okay. That's- that's really funny. I did that in No Damage Taken, too. Every time I play Chapter 8, I forget that there's more than just Roy's army. <clears throat> okay, that was on me. That's because Wendy's base stats are absolutely cracked out in this. Her bases got buffed to, to space. Her bases are so good. Now, I want to... I want to take the double of the soldier and kill him. It takes a lot of damage. I need to do... He has 6 defense. That's a lot. Even if I have 26 power, I'm not killing. But I need I need more than that. A silver bow will one round and kill. Let's use a silver bow. Let's get some Dorothy momentum going. Fuck him up. This time, we're gonna move Lelina. Let's do that first. We're also- why did the archer double? Because their base stats are much higher, and also it's- they can just get random adept procs. But I think it's just base stats here, because he has uh, 11 AS. The short bow's not weighing him down. Le Lelina has very Lelina base stats. These are not really buffed. This is, as far as I can tell, pretty similar to base Lelina, so yeah. Let's uh, move the Ostians, of course. Uh, Augur can't long range. Barf can, and Windy can, so we can have both of them retaliate. Uh, actually, wait, it's too dangerous to let Windy retaliate, because uh, she can die to an adept proc. Windy has a 16, no, a 10% chance of just fucking dying if she fights this archer every single time, so we'll let her fight the javelin, because uh, they don't have skills. He has 7 speed, so with Steady Stance, or whatever it's called, uh, if we don't get weighed down by the Short Spear, then we can re uh... God, her bases are crazy! 10 speed plus Swift Stance? Look at her base stats! They're like, so good for level 1. Her growths are, across the board, strong. No, she even has res. 35 res for a non-mage is high to begin with. A base of 8 is equivalent to Lelina's base res, but it's also 12 res if you're doing enemy phase. 
Melina has a higher res growth, of course, but like, Wendy's ability to be a, a just an omni mixed tank, she'll have every stat besides magic. And it's gonna be high because her bases are enormous. Her average base stat is literally a 10 or higher. Fucked up. Yeah, whether proc skills are good or not, it kind of just comes down to what I call the bullshit index. If you say that's bullshit, it's probably bad. If you can plan around it, it's okay, I guess. Just checking how far I can move up. I can be left of Clarine and that's fine. This, uh, drive speed onto Dorothy. Okay, we're actually good this time. Seraph, I feel like the specific use of Colossus here means that you're not generically saying this, but there is a story behind the reason you're saying do not give Colossus to a boss. What ROM hack did you have of Colossus and a boss? I want you to tell me about it. Wendy with the double, though. She can afford to do that again. Actually, maybe not. Because if the archer moves up to attack Barth, I'm worried that um, the archer could then pivot over to hit Wendy. Actually, I can just move Windy up a tile and stay off Archer range. And we can have retaliate against the Javelin. Garcia has Colossus. Colossus, like, triples your strength, right? Isn't it like a XP of the... Uh, what's the tier free warrior class in uh, Radiant Dawn? I think it's like a version of that skill. Barf is pretty shit accuracy, but he's good into the Archer. be careful with the Ostians, because um, this guy probably just rips through Barf, right? How tanky is Barf? What's our defense? 17. If Barf is getting uh, enemy phased by the soldier, I think he can get crit for 27, which would be bad. He Does he get doubled? No. But So we could actually survive a crit if Barf is at high HP. Anyway, the archer's dead. I don't need to move Wendy. Does she have any vulnerabilities? We have concoctions. We can afford to save that for next turn, then. They heal a lot. We'll, we'll hold off on it. I will actually move a tile north, because that will free up the a person to be able to hit the wall next turn if I want to, like Augier. The tiles are weird. Do you mean the coloration? The, des the design? What, what do you not like about the tiles? These, like, floor tiles? They are a bit repetitive, I'll say. It doesn't tile, it's because they like have such a distinct design. When you have a bunch of bricks next to each other like this, it doesn't like catch the eye, it's not like... It doesn't bother you. Some of them are incorrectly placed. Incorrectly placed, like... Shadows or something? Because some have shadows like along walls. Which ones are incorrectly placed? There's a few missing shadows here, actually. I just saw them. That's a good. Uh, that's a good call. Because you see, the you have top shadows on these tiles because they're below walls. But there's missing top shadows on these uh, three tiles right here. Speaking of missing top shadows, here this line of tiles. If you compare that to the wall to the right, these tiles on this horizontal line all have top shadows, but these are missing them right here. And then. They're not supposed to have top shadows next to a staircase like this. These are supposed to be unshadowed tiles. So these are these these two these two tiles are also incorrect. I'm actually gonna go check Project Ember to see if Project Ember has this mistake in it, because I was always under the impression that Project Ember had like really good production quality. Oh my god, this isn't vanilla Project Ember. The reason that um so, so some of this is Project Ember. These things, these missing tiles here, are a Project Ember mistake. These are supposed to be shadow tiles. However, these ones is this hack. Because in Project Ember, this wall doesn't exist, and there's like green Ostian armor knights like here and here, and this is a more open situation. So it's, this is a mix of errors made by this guy and a mix of uh, errors made by NPE. 
It's like, uh, one guy got slightly wrong, and then another guy came and got slightly wrong, too. Missing top shadow right here. <clears throat> I did a lot of mapping. Uh, I'm not, like, super good at it, so, like, half the maps in my ROM hack are made by a buddy of mine. But I did make, like, 60% of the maps. Um, and I'm very, you know, I- there's clearly I probably made tile issues myself, but I learned a lot about how to fix tile issues and watch for things like broken, uh, shadows and such like that. It's just one of the skills you develop, uh, ROM hacking. Just lances up here? Lots of lances. Very lance heavy. It's, uh, using our boy Deke. Let's get a heal on him. And keep moving on up. I might be able to pull this archer. If I can get across that wall. Zealot can... not get there. But he can pull the armor. He might just kill it because he has Luna. But I've decided that I don't care. Can I draw or do art? Um... I did all of the character portraits in Blessed Heart, but they aren't, like, drawn. Well, I didn't- I, some people helped me design some of them, but, um, they're basically splices. They're, like, existing character assets mixed up, recolored, and redrawn on top of each other to fit in with the vanilla art style. But, like, say, you take- for example, I use Deke's face for a character. One of the Blessed Heart characters, I have a mercenary, he has Deke's face, he has Ross's body, and he has the haircut from Henning, the boss of Adex. And then these, all these things were recolored to look like something original. So it's very obvious that it's from Deke, but this is a character with like a kind of a dark, ashy skin tone, and all of these parts have been repurposed into a new context. So even if you can identify the base parts, um, they still look original enough for a, a new character and they're serviceable. Making a good splice isn't as easy as just, like, Control c Control v uh, Fitting parts together well, recoloring, reshading, and other stuff requires some uh, pixel art uh, fundamentals to do well. So I do have some pixel art fundamentals, but I'm bad at, like, sketching out completely original stuff. What's your hack, Seraph? Okay, Zealot. <clears throat> I tried not to use repository um, mugshots for the most part, because I wanted the characters in my ROM hack to be original to the characters in my ROM hack. I, there's only a single one I used for a boss, and it also was heavily recolored. I can see the Holy War. Okay. Do you have a FEU topic for it? Because if so, I'll check it out at some point. Hold on, let me get water. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and post a link to your uh, FEU topic in chat for me. And I'll open it in another tab and leave that tab open. And I can check it out later. <clears throat> Alrighty, we have a lot of aggressive enemies. Um, it looks like this fire pack aggroed when we pulled the one guy with Zealot, so... We have enough combat units that we can easily take this out, probably. Uh, Roy can't really get in range, but he can get close enough to rally. And then someone like Dorothy could come in and do some damage. Dorothy with the Steel Bow and in fact, kill with a rally spectrum, so we don't have to use the Silver. So that's one kill. Let's go get some more. We have plenty of characters available for this. We have Shauna, uh, Deke, Zealot. We can use Marcus and Sue as a uh, kind of tertiary combat units here. The toughest one is this Armor Knight. So do we have enough damage? We would need a crit to do it with um, Deke. How's Zealot fare? That's very, very close. Very close indeed. He would maybe get Luna or something. So with a chip or a Luna, that could kill. How's Deke doing to other guys? We could probably uh, throw hand axes and take them out. Yeah, that taking out a Silver Lance guy without taking damage sounds really good to me. So I like that. 
Maybe we should have saved that spot actually for Shauna to throw a javelin from within drive strength. Because I can't get her into her Roy support range, so uh, we don't have enough damage with Javelin to take out these guys. I think I made a, a bit of an error there. I should have let Deke kill this one, and then Shauna could have killed the other Dry Strength. Now I'll need to, uh, some chip. Either way, let's see if we just Luna out this guy. Okay, well just one point of damage will do it. Sue can kill something for me within Dry Strength, so that that's one headache less. There's only one enemy alive, and leaving one enemy alive is fine. Their own shirtless Dirk Mercenary, that, that's pretty funny. And now we can probably get Marcus to kill the Armor Knight, and then Shauna can fly and kill this guy with the Gans Lance. Let's do that, sounds like a good play. Sheesh! Enemies are making Marcus look weak. Okay, go on to the Gans Lance. Iron Lance does not kill, Ant kills, guaranteed. Boom. Alright, good progress. We've kind of moved pretty offensively uh, so far in this map. I'm liking how it's going. Let's use the regular heal. Don't need to heal that much. But I think these guys, these guys are stationary, right? I mean, they're probably gonna come at me when they open the door. I was just kind of checking for hand axes. Move Molina again. Do the dance. Do not mess that one up. Very important we do not mess it up. We can, um, knock this door down and then get this guy to come in and slap Barf. Then we'll trade hits and then we'll ideally do a lot of damage. And then we can get the finishing blow using Wendy. So let's knock this door. You... Why don't you have a normal weapon? Where's your, like, steel sword? Heavy Spear is actually another option to kill the boss with. I like that they added uh, armor slaying weapons on these characters, because if your hammer is broken, this boss will be hard to deal with. You could also try and get him to swap to his axe, and then you can use um, swords on him. So there's a lot of ways you can do this without a hammer. You can have him like have his spear out and hit him with a hammer, and then you can also have him swap to the axe and get him with uh, armor slaying, rapier, etc. It's pretty hard to kill, too. He cannot use the wolf beal. Never fucking mind, then. Yeah, it's Pierre if he can't use it. Presumably can't use it. What's his Solfo skill? I don't think I ever checked. I think I kind of glossed over him. Uh, he has 100% HP. Why does he have 100% HP growth? That's a thick man. I mean, look at other people's HP groups. You only have 100 if you're Deke, Barf, or apparently Astolfo. Is this guy an HP tank? Like, if he got on the max level, would he hit 60 HP? He has 50 magic. Is he a Windsword character? Wait, look at his defenses! Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> Look at these- are these the best mixed defensive growths in the game? Doesn't that beat everyone? Cause like look- cause like look at Wendy. I was praising Wendy for her mixed defenses here. And obviously cause she has high base stats and she's level 1 these will get super high, but from the pure growths perspective, Astolfo has infinite defense growths. This is ridiculous! Like, Roy is also a character with really good mixed defenses because of high, his high HP and his, the fact that he gets res. Um, god, Boris, you- Boris, you're putting- you're not good compared to the other armors, okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at these characters' defenses and... Why'd they nerf Chad growths if they gave every other character good growths? 
I feel like because Vanilla Chad is the best gross in the game because he can't promote. But Vanilla Chad gross wouldn't have been out of place in this hack. I think they could have gotten the way of just Vanilla Chad. It would have been broken. His skill doesn't do anything. And like 50 strength, 70 speed would not have been broken. You know why I want to say 50 strength, 70 speed wouldn't have been that big a deal? Shauna has 50 strength and 105 speed in her gross. And Chad is in a much worse class. Uh, the swords the swords are terrible in this game. Um, like, the Iron Sword is 5 might, 90 hit. Okay, let's look at the Iron Axe. It has 8 might, and almost no less hit. The swords aren't even that good. Why are swords bad? Oh no, I don't use them. Look at Deke's Sword and Axe rank. There's a mixed defense's armor in Blessed Heart, but he only works if you, like, funnel him extremely hard and give him all your stat boosters, because, like, low speed units are hard to, like, make work offensively and defensively. And uh, the enemies outpace his defenses unless you like. Why did I double him? Jesus Christ, your barf. Barf just doubled. I lost my train of thought. That guy in Blessed Heart um, isn't like very good offensively. And the enemies have like reasonable damage scaling. So he takes high investment in the shine as a mixed wall. If he low invests, he just won't be particularly useful. Why did barf double? What's your speed? Six. That's an enemy soldier moment right there. Okay, well, well, let's continue that bar choke the point. Hopefully, there'll be a weakened enemy we can uh, finish off with Wendy soon. Wendy does not have aptitude. They gave it to Shauna. Sorry, Shauna has aptitude because why not? Wendy's skill is good. Wendy's base stats are extremely high. Her growths are very good, and her skill is very good. So, Wendy does not have aptitude, instead they just gave her incredible bases, and uh, 14 AS when attacked, which is, I'm uh, doing the numbers, slightly higher than the 3 AS she has in Vanilla. Just a little bit higher. Slightly. Can't get a thief to the door this turn, but I can get, like, kinda close. This guy has a killer lance, so we're going to take him out of range. I don't want Zella to do it because he might kill, but we can chip with Marcus and, or, and then have like another unit come in. Marcus's chip is actually not that reliable. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Well, Deke can uh, not get there. Oh dear. I have uh, maybe made a slight mistake. Chana doesn't need a lot of power though to kill. We have Sue as a backup. Lelina's skill is um, an extremely good aura of 2 damage and 2 less damage taken to all allies within 2 turns. Uh, Augur's skill, I don't remember it. Oh, it's it's good. Speed defense, it's good. Astolfo has... that's a good question. What's Astolfo have? What?! It's bugged. Would this be 6x effectiveness if it did work? Would that give a like an armor slayer like 60 might? Yeah, shade. We'll test this. What if Astolfo can one-shot the boss of the armor slayer? What if Astolfo is a god unit? Do you think Astolfo is secretly a god unit? He's really fast. His defenses scale extremely high if you train him. And he, his magic could be used for Wind Sword. What if Astolfo is good? We could do a support triangle. We could support Lolina with Wendy and Lolina with Astolfo and get five supports onto Lolina. We want to use Lolina because her skill is broken. Right? Because uh, Inspiration is extremely good. You do Aura stacking. I want Roy to be close to the front, so I'm gonna do a bit of a pickup drop here. Let's not block the doorway though. Astolfo supports Wendy too? 
I can do a full triangle? Well, now I have to do that, right? That's just too good not to do. I already know about there's a there's a triangle I did with I think it was Augie or Windy Lelina in like a vanilla draft once, and I did use Lelina and Windy and such. It was doable because it was normal mode, but it was still pretty painful to use a uh, Windy until she promoted. The armor is a green Lelina. That's crazy. Do I have to move Lelina this turn? She's safe. She looks safe. I don't want to jinx it, but is it just me or is this chapter like way easier than uh, chapter 7 was? Because chapter 7 was brutal. Man, that's a lot of the guys coming for barf. I can throw a short spear and get a kill as long as... Wendy might die to the archer if I get unlucky though. Because the short bow has 18 crit and they have adept. So like she might just explode. She takes a 9, so a crit does kill. But an adept does not kill. Adept doesn't kill. It would have to crit. What's her luck? 12 luck. So 6% chance of death? That's not terrible. How about if Wendy explodes, we use a barf instead? Because I kind of want to get this kill. Actually, what's her con? Agir can rescue her! We don't have to take a risk! Here, let's get this kill. Hit, hit, hit. Assassin Rogue. That's what I thought. I bet Rogue gets some big magic boost or something. Okay, great. Insane defensive first level up for Wendy. Very defensive. Does she survive the archer now? She takes an 8, right? 8 triples to 24. She lives. Even if she gets crit. We would have to get a crit and an adept proc at the same time, which would be a 10% and a 6% in, independent of each other. So that's not going to happen, I think. So we're going to... Oh my god, that Silver Lance guy fucks up bar if it's for like a 13. Let's go up to full HP. <clears throat> Ooh, Celerity at 15. That's good. Is Acrobat ignore the uh, penalties of uh, terrain movement? Broke magic would be really good if we, there's this game has viable wind swords in it. Remember how broken the wind sword has been on Roy when we juggernaut in chapter 5? Let me go check chapter, uh, check Roy. He has. Not, he's, this magic is not as high as it's supposed to be. We got super lucky, but. The Wind Sword is an extremely good weapon. So, Astolfo with Wind Sword would be crazy, right? Like, Rogue Astolfo Wind Sword? Can you tell me what skills Assassin gets? I'm curious. Don't tell me the skills of like every class, but like if I ask him, I want to know. Infiltrator. I'm not familiar with Infiltrator. Can you explain that one? Let's have Chad open the door. On the off chance, I want to do a Stolpo combat. <clears throat> Let's also move him out of the way. Why is my throat so dry today? I feel like every five minutes, my voice is cracking. I'm like constantly drinking water. I preserve my precious voice. Maybe I'm getting a cold because my nose feels like I'm like muting to like grab a tissue here and there. Am I coming down with something? I don't go out much, so I don't know where I would have gotten a cold from. But maybe I'm coming down with something. Or maybe my throat's just dry today. I don't know. Either way, I want to get Chad out of the way because I want to do Dorothy combat because we're training Dorothy. And it also gets the drive strength nearby, which is uh, always good. That means maybe we could uh, jokingly do a Stolfo gaming because uh, I don't know, maybe he's like super good and we can use him for like a support triangle. He almost even kills. With a rally, he'd kill, and then he wouldn't get crit because his rally would give him two luck. 
Rally Bot Rory has been pretty exceptional. Right, I need to be within the drive. 19s. Okay, so there's base to stall for one rounding something. Yeah, it was with support, but you know. We'll probably go down and then we can go west and through. Going directly west over the top has this annoying, like, kind of like serpentine. That slows you down, so. Wind swords are buyable! Dear lord! Roy and Asolfo are gonna be kinda busted. As Arcadia! Okay. So we have a plan then, right? Like, we gotta. We'll, let's leave a uh, chat on Marcus and carry him to the treasure room. We'll leave Helena where she is. We can use Sue to transport Roy closer to the front line. He almost certainly has a talk conversation with Lolina, because that exists in vanilla, it gives her a weapon. A Thundertome. I'm assuming that's still here. Um, Shining Bows. 13 might C rank 1 to 2 range. Are they magic? Dorothy doesn't have a lot of magic, but her magic growth is pretty high. I was thinking of going Sniper on Dorothy because I had the... just the general idea that they would have good skills. Uh, because I already heard about the Ranger skills, and I felt like Snipers would probably get bow fair or something stupid. A barf level. Yeah, that's a barf level. You know, if I have extra Knight's Crest, why don't we early promote barf and use him like a Jagan? Because, like, we have a Knight's Crest already, and I think we get, like, another one somewhere, right? So we could just, like, do Jake and Barf. That sounds strong. Or at least good enough. Pretty terrible hit rates there, buddy. Buddy old pal. Not very reliable. That one's reliable. And then I can just, uh, if Barf fails to kill the sniper, I can just rescue Windy of, uh, a gear. Okay, left side handled. Axe Reaver. There might be group aggro on this pack of enemies. But I do want to pull some enemies to fight with uh, Wendy, where I can afford to. Maybe there's going to be a reinforcement trickle like in vanilla and we can train Wendy on those. Open up this door next turn. Roy. Close to it. Let's pull over this archer or someone. Come over and bonk. Fell it in the face. I'm not even gonna use a javelin. Just gonna get the enemy. Be nearby. Carry Chad to the chest room. We can have Shauna kill the archer once he gets pulled over. As Shauna fails to kill, let's be really careful about the range. Okay. Shauna fails to kill. We can all ride in with Dorothy for Dorothy EXP. She's level 11, coming along nicely. Get random clarine heal, I guess. I'm having. Calf is spawning, presumably, where she spawns Vanilla, which is on these stairs, and then Roy's gonna be around to talk to her. Zero damage!
This chapter has been so much easier than the last, like, four chapters. Chapter four was fucking hard. Even five was scary. Uh, seven was a nightmare. I feel like they tried to really push the Royal Elena romance in this. Studied Tome. What? Hi? Do not spoil our Adax, I'm almost there. So the magic plus free, is that independent of what quick draw is? Is quick draw another additional thing on top of the fact that this is a 13 might tome? Do we have plus 4 damage when we initiate combat and we have a 13 might tome? Do we threaten 24 magical damage at base? Interesting. Can Melina brawl Elfire guy? 11 speed, she fucking dies, of course. Um, what if we had drive speed? Let's let's find let's get a Lelina kill as soon as we can. Let's set up drive speed and like a spectrum uh, rally and everything, and have her fight this guy on the next player phase. She won't be able to kill. We can't get her enough speed, but we can get enough speed to at least not be doubled and like chip and like see how much damage she can do. Maybe I can find us someone weak enough to chip without killing. Maybe Marcus can do like a single tap. Let's, uh, give Chad to you. Because this guy has 11 speed, right? Is he weighed down? Oh, he's weighed down! He doesn't have 11 speed. He has 7! With a drive speed and a rally spectrum from Roy, we can double him with Lelina. Maybe Lelina can get a kill on him then. And we can, uh, start scaling her. Well, I, I, I have a Fire Tome in Supply if I need to not use my good one. I'll do. Drop you off in the Treasure Room. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, these, these guys. Gang of individuals. Is that concoction all used up? Yep, I'll use an elixir. Oh, they are proximity charging. At least some of them. Just one? Just one. Armor Slayer doesn't even 2KO. Lance Reaver might miss, but I could probably just tank with Barth. I'll probably take an 8 damage if it's on my turn, but... This is a feasible way to set up a Windy Kill. I have a Heavy Spear. Interesting. Let's then actually try the enemy phase with Wendy. Do you have any proxy might? No, you just have natural cover. Then we'll let Wendy brawl this guy, and we can let her take damage and then she can heal after. I don't want to move her any further up just in case it causes more enemies to do some sort of like proximity aggro style uh, thing going on. So I'll play it safe. She does survive the hit. It's crazy that she survives this hit from a Silver Lance for base defenses. Much higher. Her base HP, I feel like, is it's like it must be like 10 higher than vanilla. Let me go check. What's FE6 Gwendolyn HP? I'm gonna open up Serene's Forest real quick. My blade. Base stats. Scroll down. Wendy has 19 HP in vanilla. So she gained a whole angelic robe worth of HP. On top of four more strength, seven more speed. Two more defense and seven more res. And she's still just like a level one unit with all those extra base stats at like no actual measurable penalty. She's just 10 million times better. Yeah, they just keep giving me Knight's Crests. Like, you could just promote Barf and use him as a Jagan. 
but I didn't need to do that for this chapter, so maybe I'll just like get him one more level and then promote him, and he can be a Jagan in 8x, and 8x won't actually be difficult or anything. Okay, I want drive speed. Now let's just check. With fire, I do zero with the study tome. If I double with the study tome, I can kill. Rally. Alright, so the power of skills is so strong that we're having Lelina get a kill at base, and her base stats are terrible. So, I mean, the skills are overpowered, I think. 53 EXP. Let's go, girl. Get him, get him gone. Before reinforcements come, we can pull this armor knight, probably. We'll use Deke. Clarine insists on gaining magic. She got a skill. She didn't have a level 5 skill yet. What's that skill? No! No! Absolutely fucking not! They can't do this! The absolute dedication this game has to making Ellen shit is truly spectacular. Both Clarine and Saul can give people 4 speed, and Ellen has lived to fucking serve. Yeah, I, we're Saul in terms of the range, but she has 7 move. Nah, hold on. I get ready for the camera noise. I'm taking a screenshot of my loud ass share X. Hold on. I need to send this to someone immediately. Alright, I'm sending this to my brother. He needs to see it, uh, yesterday. Why the fuck aren't you in my recent DMs? Yes, you are. Okay. Um. Game design is apparently someone's passion, but I don't know if it's this guy's. I even like the idea of giving utility units more utility for the purpose of justifying their position on the front line and in the battlefield. It's just that speed is, like, typically the best stat in Fire Emblem, and this is so much of it. The concept isn't even bad, I just think the numbers are overtuned because, uh... What, what was I yelling about? I DM'd you. Check your DM. Oh lord, let's uh, pull this guy onto Deke. And uh, we can fight him. Let's send some support to the left in case they end up doing some sort of, uh, like they attack chat or something unexpected. Like they might have proxy aggro. And was double checking that Wendy survives this hit. She survives 15. We can wait. We're good. Wendy! Wendy! She's gonna be a monster. I mean, she's already killing stuff at level 1, and she's only going up from here. Hi, Kath. Only Kath? Wasn't there supposed to be, like, another thief here? Anyway, she's really easy to get to. She'll be right next to me. Javelin on this guy. Extra over there. Let's try and uh, get some more Wendy gaming in. Let's have Wendy brawl at Javelin range with this guy. She doubles soldiers. All these enemies on the left side are designed for Wendy to be able to double, by the way. The soldiers are slow speed and they get weighed down by their weapons due to their 8 con and their heavy weapons, and the armor knights are slow. So Wendy was designed to not be a trainee in her chapter, but to just like unironically just she's just strong during this chapter. She's easy to kill uh, enemies with. She has good weapons, and she can retaliate at range. She can take hits. Like her level one performance is not just okay; it's doing completely fine. It's almost outright good.
there's the shining bow. So here's a 1 to 2 range 13 might magical bow. That has as much might as a silver bow. Or more. That's magical, which is good and good and bad. Okay, so it's a, it's a magical silver bow. Low magic on Dorothy. Um but it's still one to two range, right? <sighs> yeah, that's that's something. That's that's an item. That's one of the items of all time. No one's coming for Chad, so let's shot it back and see what happens. There's, I'm expecting reinforcements from these um, stairways, the stairwells, right? We cannot camp them. We can have like Dorothy like be ready to like shoot them. We can have like Alina start attacking them while Roy in the center and do like rallies. We'll like put like drive speed. We can uh, probably camp them out. Uh, the magic bow is good on Sarah in Blessed Heart. Uh, she has a serviceable magic growth. It's not like high, but it's still good sometimes. The only other character that could reasonably use it would be like Orville, I think. Like Siege Knight Orville. It's a niche weapon. It's not always useful. The Princess Lament, the best and worst rebalance rewriting of Sacred Stones. I mean, if I could just make playing bad rebalances a like a steady source of content in this on this channel, that would be entertaining. I wouldn't be against it. I've had a lot of fun doing this. And 50 EXP on Roy. That shall turn around, certainly. Do we have a guaranteed hit? Almost guaranteed. Do we have a better accuracy weapon? Wait, short spear with 85 hit? What the fuck? Well, let me find a javelin real quick. Javelins have 65 hit. Short Spear is 85. What's this in vanilla? 55? How much did they buff the Short Spear? What the shit? Alright, well, more Windy Gaming. We'll keep training Windy on these enemies. Then we're positioned to train, um... In this chest and rescue back so we're not in danger. A light brand that's busted on Roy. It's just the wind sword all over again. It's it's the same deal, but it's like a light magic instead of a anima. So we have more ranged magical weapons. Not only is that good on Roy, he still has his wind sword. The Stolfo has 50% magic growth and can put those to good use. So a Stolfo just becomes like a mage, right? It's 60 hit in FE8, so they buffed the FE8 short spear by 25 hit. Okay, good to know. No comment on that, just kind of acknowledging it. Like, yep, they did that. That's a decision they made. I might pull uh, these enemies like... Like, I might put like Zella in here to draw enemies towards him, but not let them into the treasure, into the treasure room. Chip them and then let like Wendy and Barf come in to swoop up the kills. I could also send like a healer to the left. Give them a healer over there, slowly. Oh yeah, Deke was supposed to like finish support, so while we're like just sitting here camping out, like waiting for these reinforcements to spawn, there are supports we never finished on Deke. <clears throat> there goes Path. Did they remove the reinforcements? What turn is it? Eleven. You think they just start super late? Because normally, when you play this chapter in vanilla, you go up, you go around, 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 and then you get here. So you're telling me they added this door, which saves you like seven turns, and they didn't adjust to the reinforcement timing at all? Because that's clumsy, if so. 
Because I'm just literally waiting here for them. Because I was expecting an ambush that never came. Flame Lance. Well, this is terrible in Engage. And it's really good here. That is better than the Light Brand because it's lighter. So it's a 9 range Magical Javelin. Shauna has 9 magic. That's a bunch of uh, extremely good weapons. Start bringing some enemies to me. Then we'll come in and uh, clean them up with other characters. Well, it's, it's a Fire Lance to signify that it's a magical weapon. It's similar to the Flame Lance of Engage and such, right? Send them a healer in case they need it. Send them a random... okay, yeah. So reinforcements coming out. Oh wow, it's all just annihilated that guy. I'm surprised he didn't throw a javelin to barf. Just chose to die. You know, I talked to Calf. Is she going to escape or is she going to go steal all the other treasure? As I talked to her, shouldn't that make her leave? Where is she going right now? Where's the escape tile? Is it like over here? I killed Calf last time I played, so I don't know where she escapes to. Either way, I can maybe try and get- I can't even block her because she has passed. I can't stand in this tile. Either way, we have reinforcements finally showing up. So what's uh... Oh, the Lena gets free shots on the mercenary because he can't uh, like, get to me. The archers... We can maybe kill with Dorothy? I am worried about the crit rate, so we can solve that by having Saul nearby for the support. And that should undo the crit rate. Well, it mostly does. We can also rally. We can do a, like a rally and get two more luck. And then that will help. So let's chip this guy down a bit. Then that frees up that tile, we can go up there and we can rally. And now Saul and the rally, we can take down this archer without any chance of getting crit by him. Using the iron bow. We got out of proc. And or if he gets a cracked out level. Can we chip this guy more so the lane I can kill? We missed. Do we have any non-lethal chip? This is probably way too strong. I'll just let her kill over turns. Wow, one off. I don't think I can squeeze out any more damage though. Unless D missed one. Clarine would- oh my god, yeah, she now has- I'm not used to playing around this. The fact that Spur is adjacent and not two tiles, it's uh, adjacent allies. Okay. Thank you for the reminder, I'm not used to the skill yet. So does- does this stack? Can we Spur and Drive? Because right now, after a rally, she has two speed. Would giving her eight like her double? No, you need 23 AS to double these guys. Alina's will be supported by Windy and, um, and, uh, Astolfo. Anyway, because I can't guarantee the kill, um, I might do this for now. Or I could just, like, let him lose and clean up next turn. It's fine. Let's get the chip damage. This game is goofy, yeah. Uh, we have these guys. So this looks like more opportunities to get, uh, Windy EXP. Let's keep Windy maxing. Get this guy with the Heavy Spear. Instant kill.
Trank Frez is a perfectly okay level up. Um, her Raz has hit double digits, her mixed defenses are going to scale insane. Level 4 Windy has everything 10 or higher besides max magic. Even her con. Just 10s across the board. Double digits. Everywhere. Like, she's legitimately threatening to have everything be over 15 by the time it's time to promote. That's crazy. Let's chip this archer with the uh, javelin. And we can pull this guy towards, um... Towards Wendy for a kill with the heavy spear. He doesn't have a javelin, right? He has an axe reaver. Just want to check that Ellen won't die. 51 DXP sounds good. We'll do that at the end of the chapter when it's worth more. She's a higher level. <clears throat> this chapter is like four times easier than chapter uh, 7 was, by the way. You can play this chapter super slow and just train units, and chapter 7 was like a ridiculously brutal gauntlet of super strong aggressive enemies. This chapter is just like extremely chill. Boar is useful for windy talk, true. I could always run down and finish him off if I hit. Hitting is surprisingly difficult, actually. We could maybe like uh, set up a Stolfo kills then or something. Because Elena can probably get a kill here if we hit. 77? 50 fatty XP. Level up. First level. Strength for the Wolf Beal. Kinda gained everything, even defense. That was a really statistically unlikely level up. We got defense and strength and we missed res. We even got speed. Is there a way to harm this guy without him instantly dying? And the Stolfo double with a. Uh, he can. Let me chip. Okay, let's rally up his, uh, his stats here for more consistency. Fuck him up. Heavy spear kill here. A little more chip will help Wendy not take a hit. Hey, a Marcus level up of all things. <laughs> he gained strength both times he gained a level. His base strength is 8 in this, so he doesn't one round stuff in chapter 1 on hard mode. Thankfully, Saul does not need stats to be extremely good. So, as long as I can kill the Arch- I can probably have Wendy player phase the Archer and then enemy phase both of those units to be just fine. Mercenaries have really high speed, but this guy's getting weighed down. He only has 16 on enemy phase, and then Wendy on enemy phase also has 16, so... I just can't player phase him, but I can enemy phase him just fine. I'll try and get Wendy a bunch more kills then. Probably the FE8 formula. Um, I would be very surprised if they changed it specifically back to the FE6 one. Since a lot of stuff in this game is just FE8. Well, that treasure room is super dangerous until the end of the chapter. You can go there early, but this guy, I, I need like horse slayers and crap the kill, or like halberd. I'm not going to mess with the left treasure room for now. We'll wait. We can be patient.
Calf is gone. Yeah, because I don't have that much magic on Soul for Crazy Warps. Is there any way I can chip this to a more consistent level? Is that that kills? What if I'm not near Roy? Do you think if I get away from Roy, I can chip that guy and leave him alive? And then get a Lilina kill? Why can't I just do a Stolpo chip? Both defenses and HP. Tank Astolfo. You just got here and you see skills. Oh, you want to see skills? Would you like to see some skills right now? Dorothy. Drive strength. All allies for strength within two spaces. Sol. Drive speed. Or speed for all allies within two spaces. We're not done. Lorene. Spur speed. For speed for all adjacent allies. But wait, there's more. Lita. Inspiration, 2 damage, 2 mitigation for all allies within 2 tiles. Yeah, no, the, the skills are completely and utterly ridiculous. No, this, this is goofy as fuck. This is... Someone described this hack as unserious, and that's been maybe like the best description of it. It's, it's just fundamentally not serious. Which is funny because it takes itself very, very seriously in claiming to be a Nintendo squashing remake that fixes uh, the game. What did the player phase that archer, but I actually went windy poorly. I don't think I could get enemy phased by all three. But actually, just the archer and the soldier would be fine. The short spear is extremely good accuracy, so it would be hard to miss against the archer, who only has 19 to void. So even if he doesn't have adept like the other archers, there's no adept. So it's actually fine to put Wendy in range 2 and just do the soldier like another time and try and maximize how much uh, combat Wendy is getting into here. There are still bad units, that's the funny part, Renee. There are still terrible units, like a lot didn't get very big buffs, and the skill literally doesn't function. It doesn't do anything. It just doesn't work. So there are still bad units. That's even funnier how a bunch of the top tiers got buffed. Ellen is still a worse Saul, but like they made the her dramatically worse than Saul instead of slightly worse. Okay. Wendy being strong is really funny. That's entertaining. <laughs> Better get to fixing that, Seraph. Another Wendy level. Look at these insane stats for level 5. This is absurd! Completely ridiculous! And we're getting skills. Obliterated! Getting so much EXP. I thought Project Ember Windy was ridiculous. This is stronger than Project Ember Windy. Is that the last reinforcement wave? It's turn 15, let's say probably. Let's check out Windy's new skill. Knight? Oh no. These are this is a unique to Windy skill because she's a recruit. It's better than what Arbor Knights get. And her evasion is unironically going to be good because look at her speed and her luck. They're high. So that with 15 evasion. And not just that, not just that. She has 17 speed when she gets attacked. So when she's at high HP, Swift Stance, her high luck, her high speed, Knight Aspirant. Yeah, Rene, it really does take the fun out of the game when, uh, it's like, you have fun for, like, one chapter when you raise the character from, like, you know, from a scrub to god, but then when everyone's a god, you're just like, oh, what was the point of the game? And, uh, I am questioning what the point of, uh, Wendy's design is here, because this character is 
just so broken. This guy's really beefy. Two KOs me too. Let's. Look, I'm gonna equip the Killer Lance and just uh, hang back and just rescue back uh, Ellen. For now. Continue the train one day. Up to 27 speed if all those effects stacked. Jesus Christ. Where do you get the, the uh, third plus four? Oh, I see, I see. I yeah, know. The Windy plus the Spur plus the Drive plus, like, Roy plus. Jesus Christ. That doubles Vanilla Carol. <laughs> Deadass? Fucked up, isn't it? I wonder if I can double this guy with, um, Elena, actually. If I had to take Dorothy's spot. I kind of want to also give, um, Astolfo some kills. Oh, add up proc. Okay, so what if I'm also next to, um, Lorraine, and I can also rally. Just a rally be enough. I also need clearing. I should have moved right closer so I could have done this with the um the fire tome rather than the study tome, but this is what it's here for. Training up your level one Melina. And there she goes, getting a statistically uh, unlikely speed, just like my no damage taken, Lelina. No strength. True, she needs a wolf beal stuff. She needs that strength. Let's be funny. Let's, uh, let's get this armor knight. Let's, um, get some Shauna EXP. She's next to Rai, so her damage will be much higher. And let's go ahead and rescue drop. Um, the four is out of the way, so we can do a rescue drop to reposition Dorothy for the drive strength onto Jana. Be extra silly with it. Yeah, Lena already has two PRFs, and just in chapter eight, because the wolf beal is hers for some reason, and the the studied tome is ten. It's like, how much stronger than fire is this? Doing like 12 more damage than fire. Yeah, we actually- Wolf stats aren't good, but we did make good use of the Wolf Bow. And every single time we're like, excitedly being like, Oh, it's a Wolf Bow moment. Yeah, 17 might on player phase. And a Windy Kill! <clears throat> Fucked up unit! You know, I had it in my mind that Wendy would take a few chapters to get rolling. I didn't realize that Wendy would start one-rounding stuff in her joint chapter. Shauna is now capped skill, and that magic could be put to use with the Flame Lance we picked up on chat earlier, so I actually like getting magic as a level up. Looks like soldiers and armors. Hey, Lena kill opportunities is what I'm uh, smelling here. And we could uh, also just put them where Shauna currently is to let the javelins come swing into Lelina. Uh They won't kill, but she seems to have maybe higher HP than in vanilla. What's her HP in vanilla? Isn't it like 16? I'm gonna check. Lelina's level 1 HP is 16 in vanilla, so I think she has like 5 more in this, which is uh, considerably better. So she can tank javelins without dying. So let's move Shauna out of the way. And then Lena can like player phase the soldiers while enemy phasing the armor knights. Because the soldiers have uh, one range weapons. And we can just give all these kills to Lena while standing next to Roy. We're going to need some accuracy, unfortunately. Um, but we can rally, and that is uh, going to be more accuracy.
Generic enemies get braves. Yeah, like, how else are they going to... Because, like... Look at this. This is a promoted enemy. Maybe you could expect silver, but, like, the soldiers have silver. This game is, like, in so desperately trying to keep up with the player because they just gave too much to the player, and this is their solution, and it's super awkward. Let's give Elena a bunch of speed next to her. Um, because maybe she'll dodge the... Uh, the javelins if she has this extra 8 speed. And maybe she won't, and that will be fine in its own way. Braves very soon, oh, I, that's making me feel like as soon as chapter 8x. <laughs> Gold after silver. Take 10 damage from the, those guys. How much damage do I take from the archer? The archer could adapt me. So, let's play it safe if there might be adapt involved. I can always uh, wall off the uh, melee guys in the choke point, so let's just only fight the archer in isolation and save uses on the short spear in doing so. But just archer for now. Uh, the archer cannot hit me. You know, I was actually expecting fire the kill. That kind of screws up my plan a little bit. I'm gonna kill the longbow there to like save me um, a headache. Now I'll switch to study tome. If I can kill this guy with fire, I'll do that. Then I'll swap her. Okay, we just need to be using study tome at this low level. That's fine. We can just use it. That saved a use. Good crit. In crazy level ups. Just leveling up so fast. Magic spreads very little to level up, but gaining HP is pretty atypical. Wait a second, Clarine supports Dorothy? Sure, because we're going for Dorothy Sol A and D Clarine A. We have room to do a spare Dorothy support. I oh, know wait. Yeah, yeah, it is with Dorothy. I don't know if that ends my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then have Dorothy take the actual support. Well, that's a really convenient support triangle I wasn't expecting to have. That's extra crit on Dorothy, why not? Clarine be like gender roles, okay. Can I just kill the... probably. If I miss, I have backup units that can help. I can give her a lance that's like more accurate than that, actually. We can't use a silver lance. Do we have an iron lance on hand? Well, we kind of don't. That's my fault for not having an iron lance on hand. I'll use this because it's low weight for now, then. I could also use the short spear just to kind of like... Let's just kind of guarantee the kill. It's not guaranteed, but it's much more likely than we can uh, swap to, uh, like, Steel Lance or something to fight these guys. Here you go. Because they're not that fast. Oh, I screwed up. Doesn't have it equipped. Oh, we're going to use up our Short Spear. That's that's a mistake. Is Wendy good yet? Um, evaluate for yourself if she's good yet. At level 6, she has these stats. If you consider these stats to be good, she's good. They can't hit her because of Night Aspirin, that's the crazy part. Get the uh, accuracy boost from the rally. Oh, this knight is like in a really bad position actually. We'll have to kill it with someone else. And then like rescue them back. Whole situation. Or we can just take out the Sly and then just reposition the Lena. Or can Lena take a hit from the um 
Oh, that moves her out of the drive speeds and such. The whole situation got awkward. She needs those drive speeds to be able to attack. Now the positioning's strange. I kind of everything got screwed up by the enemies blocking each other there. Well, that fixes it. As elegant as I wanted? No, it's fine though. I don't really care. Not every kill has to perfectly go into Lelina. Stuff is going kind of wacky and successful enough as is. I'm not concerned. This guy kind of fake doubles us on uh, enemy phase. He does not double us, so it's okay. And she is still gaining her stats. Everything is just going up and up and up. I don't care if that guy goes on Shona. So, I think I don't like the design of this chapter, because I wanted to like it with the door making it so that you have faster access to the bottom. And then you, the left side, you can just solo off the Ostians. That's kind of cool, actually. The first 10 turns or so play better. You go for this door, you rescue the Lena from here, and you're more you're engaged on the left side because uh, Barf and his squadron can fight, and you're doing stuff. The reinforcements timing is really bad now that the chapter has been sped up, and they kind of slow everything to a halt because the trickle reinforcements encourage you to just kind of wait for them to come to you, because they're just like you know aggroing in this like straight line, they're just queuing up one by one, just stand still and kill them. So the pacing of the map was good, and the way that the reinforcements trickle in like this grinds it to a halt, I think. I think these reinforcements feel really extraneous. They don't, like, threaten you in a Because they used to threaten you in a timing sense. You used to have to get to Lelina in time. Oh my god. Tile error. There's a shadow behind an open door. That's fixable. That is a fixable error. Um, Because when you play vanilla, and you don't have this door here, and you have to go all the way left, and then all the way down, and all the way right, if you don't go fast enough, the thieves can get to the chest before you, and the enemies can kill Lelina before you. But the timing of the chapter has been removed because of the shortcut, and then the timing of the reinforcements to frighten you were not adjusted to compensate. So the chapter ends up being like a fake sort of better. The chapter was made easier, but the flow was not adjusted to compensate, and so it comes off as clunky. There is a cracked wall here, that's another change that I think is good, but I haven't gone in because of this extremely strong paladin. The Windy can probably just fight thinking about it. That's a crazy part. We can probably just like give her a javelin and let, let Windy fight that guy. Windy can fight mages. I forgot. She's an armor knight with 15 res when she gets attacked. What am I scared of? She's just strong. Have a javelin. Go fight. And this guy? That's okay. He can, he can fight me uh, laugh, uh, after that. We'll fight the mage first. Put the jab on. What a silly game. Truly, truly unserious game. I don't want to actually do Roy the Lena supports, because I want to eat up the Lena supports between Astolfo and uh, Wendy. So let's not do that. Let's just rally. That guy's scary, probably. And does Lena get one shot by Silver Lance? Actually, no. She doesn't. We can just let Lena get hit in the face and she'll live. We can give her this defense from Saul to be extra sure and the extra speed for kicks. Yeah, we have horse slayers and such in the convoy. Um, here, let me show you. Because I want Deke to halberd out that guy, so here's a halberd for example. But we also have a horse slayer somewhere. Maybe it's on Wendy. So there, I, there is a horse slayer somewhere, I just lost it, I think. Oh, found it. It's on Shauna. 
Yeah, Lelina has a, on player phase, it has 17 might, which is normal. It's, you know, only 12 more than fire. This game is so wacky. There's Wendy being good against mages. Here's Elena taking several silver lances to the face and surviving. She's getting so blessed on speed. Is that death blow? Sure. Why not? I actually like this on Lelina thematically because it's kind of her purpose is that when you play FE6 normal mode, she can get strong enough to one-shot uncorrupted enemies and doesn't need to double them and that's kind of funny. She can do that. But no satire of no damage Lelina. Yeah. So this kind of just like has her occupy the same role where she could one-shot stuff I guess. And she's supposed to be frail defensively. So I can see that. She's never going to be good as someone like Wendy because she's not going to be the dodge tank like in my no damage taken, and she's going to be frail defensively, she won't be super fast. Wait! She's so good! This is infinite range, right? Isn't this just passive on all units? That's such a nice little consistency boost. I already thought that her skill, uh... I already thought that Inspiration was going to be enough to, to justify Lelina. Like, I thought that Inspiration alone was going to justify Lelina, but she has a Leadership Star. Which Roy also has. Do you think Elfin's going to have a Leadership Star or some other, like, random, like, jank thing like that? I don't even think she's going to be, like, required. I think that, like, you know, characters like Soul are better, but it's strong. I can say that with confidence. I think I can Silver Axe into the horse, the horse slayer, make it hard to hit. But I could, like, Albert, I could Rapier. We have a lot of horse slaying options here. Roy, Lelina, Guinevere, and Ellie Wood. <laughs> Why do I get to play with Ellie Wood? None of the, oh, none of the Etrurian generals. It's funny, because, like, you know, Cecilia is a mage general. Uh, Douglas is the general general. Klein is the archer general. So yeah, we can just brawl with this, uh, this guy have any wacky skills? Desperation, but he won't have double attacks on us because we're gonna have, uh... We can just brawl him. It's fine. We have plus four speed on our, our turn, or on, uh, the enemy phase. We might even miss, because we already have 54 avoid. So, with the javelin, he might not hit. It's like a coin flip. Let's just uh, have Wendy fight him. Maybe Wendy could fight both Paladins for EXP. Or I could set up a Lelena kill on this one. Oh, maybe they have promoted kills to actually go to like higher level units because they get good EXP from it and we can kill low level units of characters like Lelena. So I get in range of the Paladin. Come out, come out the play. And this guy, bring him forward onto the uh, halberd. So we're completing the support triangle. Shauna will have a B with Deke and an A with uh, Roy. Full supports for Deke now. So, this is considerable boosts. He's getting like three defense and a bunch of crit and avoid clearing. Shauna's giving him the opposite stuff, he's getting accuracy and uh, power. The only thing consistent between these two affinities is mostly the uh, 
they both crit rate. So my crit rate's like 33 of the Salbert right now. LRX would be a, a lot of crit rate. Give a, a rally for kicks. Let's just uh do some super deek crap because it's funny. Go ahead and take some extra speed and damage, why not? I guess Boris can talk to Belina. Our own oh, it's only one way. That's badly coded. You can set up two way talks. You don't need to do one way talks like that. That's a that's an error that can be fixed. It's intentional. Holy crap, Deke. Oh, so Lulina gets the EXP. Okay. I understand now. B rank. I can now use Silver Lances on Wendy. On her join chapter. Like the Silver Lance on Marcus, I can just give it to her. She can use it. Anyway, I can't attack on my turn because he double, but um, I do better on the other turn. I don't do much damage back. Maybe this is not a good idea, actually. And the short spear is almost broken, but I'll get a level. Maybe the level will get me good stuff. Or is the short spear? It's on Barf. Ooh, so I can... Let's use the short spear. Oh, we still have it. Okay, now it's, these mages can be killed by Lolina. Leaving Deke hurt so he has fiery blood damage versus the boss when he goes off the hammer. Probably let Deke kill the boss, go up to level 19, then promote him kind of thing. Yeah, because Wendy started with C rank lances in this so she can use good lances. What's her lance rank in vanilla? Is it E? And there are more defenses. A lot of 14s across the board. She's not even level 10. She's like level 8. She has all these 14s. Look at that row of 14s! These stats are so symmetrical. This is like super aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna take another screenshot. Snap you on camera. I'm also sending this to Cakes by uh, my brother to show off my super windy. Unbelievable character. Alright, well let's um do some more Lolina gaming here. And get Lolina kills. We can use the fire time at this point because the uh situation has become remarkably safer. We can give her ten bazillion speed if we use Lorraine and we use Sol. Then we can also rally because this is not a serious game. Oh, mages of proxy aggro. Okay. We do need to uh, grab the javelin back and switch back to that. The Wendy's making headway on the paladin, despite the fact that this paladin is incredibly inflated in stats, which is very entertaining. That one has hit level 10, which is of my old curiosity. Miracle. Oh my god, they made Ellen tanking possible. It's for Luf- Guys, it's for Luf to serve. Get it? Because if she's at full HP, she can tank any one hit, just one. If she gets doubled, she'd still die and she has no speed. But she can tank a hit and then live to serve and then Miracle again. Zombie Ellen. It's an actual synergy. I thought Live to Serve did nothing, but they found a way to make Tank Ellen exist. That's so silly. Oh my god, Ellen Tank. It's it's literally possible. She, her speed is too low. If she gets doubled, it, it doesn't work. But it's funny. Um, I need 
do I care who this guy hits? Oh, he's has Foon Bulbadur. He's actually, like, really strong. What the hell? I might actually want to go, like, go kill him with something. I'll have the Lena finish off this guy, and then I can just, um, turn around real quick. Shoot! Everybody turn around. Be silly about it. Yeah, it's like, it's a more busted version of Holdout. Because the HP threshold for it is... Oh no, wait, Holdout's stronger actually, right? Holdout's stronger. My bad. Holdout's thresholds are crazy. If you're like above 1 HP, you just survive a Holdout, right? And the training process continues. At least Holdout++ Plus Plus is, like, pretty late in the game. You need to, like, get Roy back and do his paralogue and spend 10 bazillion bond frags and, like, other stuff to get it. And, like, using Roy as a ring is unexceptional outside of Holdout. And ironically, I can break the door and just go in there. But yeah, I kind of forgot I could do that. But we're kind of like, I could always like do that with a better weapon. I want to have one more speed though, so I can attack her on my turn without getting doubled back. Because otherwise if I attack her at close range, I can't guarantee I can get a hit and then it might go catastrophically bad, right? It sounds like a problem to me. Oh, I can just one round and kill them? Why wasn't I able to do that earlier? I had did like no damage to the other, uh, the other mage, but I'm just dialing this one. I didn't really hit the previous guy for a 6, like, less than... I think I did 9 damage, and he had 6 remaining or something. Level 6 Lelina. Let's also have Lelina kill this guy, and just painstakingly kill every single enemy that's ever existed with Lelina. Plus 6 from Death Blow. My god, right! I forgot! <laughs> Jesus Christ, death blow. Does that mean, does Lu also get death blow? Or is, no, Lelina's a unique class. She's a lord, not a mage, so her skills are her own. She has a unique set of skills. No wonder she has such a good skill. Death blow. It's crazy. Yeah, I know about opportunities because the uh, enemies have it. Okay, one more javelin hit. Um, we'll kill this this guy. So we're close. I feel like I'm like the certified Lelina gamer after what I did in no damage taken of my 385. Um, sorry, 386 I think kills Lelina. Like, that has to be one of the craziest playthroughs for Lelina of all time, right? So much HP compared to Vanilla Lelina. Come on, Wendy. The second attack on player phase this time. Because uh, I'm at full HP. Okay, now Deke with the hammer can uh, go and fight the boss. What we've been saving the hammer for. Take that bad boy out of convoy. Four uses left, that's the wrong item. We have a bunch of supports on him. We can also give him like the whole whole shebang, I like the extra speed and extra strength for various busted ass characters. Not like he can double the enemy. He has a wary fighter or something. Yeah, I can attack off on um, player phase and just mend off the damage if I miss and get hit twice. Wendy has killed the paladin by herself. At level 9, she has... Her defenses are just truly exceptional. She's level 9! 
She has so many levels more to go. We might cap defense before she's um done, even, right? Unbelievable unit. Yeah, they want the Gwendolyn as a Wendy's official translation in Fire Emblem Heroes. Energy ring. Who even needs this? All my characters are extremely high strength. Like, Shauna is traditionally an energy ring character. Does it look like my Shauna needs an energy ring? Deke needs it more than Shauna almost, because he has a lower strength growth. And he's a higher level. I could, like... Maybe if I... Mimo using Astolfo, because Astolfo gets these crazy tank growths. I could give it to Astolfo. But like... I feel like Deke's, Deke is gonna go Jagan mode for me, just because like... His stats are still good, but like the truly, truly OP character's on, on another level. Why does everyone want me to give the energy ring to Bolina? Isn't that overkill? Doesn't she have an 80% magic growth? That's not a magic! It's just strength, it's not magic. For Axelina, Hector's daughter? Oh my god. I hate how easily I'm being sold by on this idea. I need to talk to uh, Boris to get the EXP boost now with um, Wendy and Molina. Now that the chapter's over. You are correct, that would be funny. Elysian Whip, so we can promote Shauna. So, let's, uh... Let's pork on us. Pork on us. Wait, you should be closer, because you also give, um... Charm. Free damage. Use four bonuses. A rally. Drive strength. Alright, can you move for a second? Thank you. Drive speed. I want to do this next turn because I also want to give Lelina's inspiration to Deke. I want to give Deke like four different auras and supports actually. I think it'll be really funny. Hold on. Let's go. I'm going to get really excessive with this. Give me a second to be truly silly. EXP from Barf, I'll look for that as well. Hold on. I'm just stacking auras here. Can you still armor triangle? I hope so. Okay. So we have inspiration. We have Charm, we have a Support Bonus, we have a Support Bonus, we have Drive Speed, we have Drive Strength, and we have Rally. How does Deke do? Pretty good, I'd say. That's Eternal Animation's worthy moment. Oh, I got hit. I don't know if he takes, like, a mystery death due to, like, some sort of skills or something changing, so I'm just gonna reposition. I'll just heal in this, uh, get clear out of the way. Why does Deke look like shit? I know, right, Roro? So many of the animations are just, like, not good in this. Like, they're changed for the purpose of being changed, and they're just downgrades. There's a bunch of just really bad animations. A secret book. Who could use skill? Who has low skill? Well, Wendy has 14. Wendy's looking pretty good. Deke has 17. That's pretty high. Uh, Shauna's capped. Valina has low skill. We can give it to Valina. Like, no one else needs skill, right? Dorothy has low skill, but she has a certain blow, so she has plus 40 hit, so she's fine. Um, Roy's skill is going to be enough. I can just give it to Lelina for her early levels, I guess. Oh, my Wendy? You want to look at my Wendy? Yeah, what, what would you like to ask about my Wendy, Roro? Oh, save it for some of a skill proc. Okay, I'll save the secret book, then. For procs. Now... Do you have any further questions about Wendy, Roro? Or is this self-explanatory enough? Has this Wendy satisfied your curiosity? Did she come like that? Kind of. She came at level 1 with extremely high base stats and I trained her. 
from 1 to 9 in a drone chapter because she was so good at fighting the enemies. Rightful King? What? Why? Oh, that's fantastic level up on Deke. And the Wolf Beal for Molina. Which she can use, because why not? Okay, let's let's be funny. Let's um Let's give her the energy ring, because it's entertaining. And then we'll have her also go talk to Boris for EXP. She can talk to Bar for EXP. Let's uh get the block EXP going on. See Rover, this is not a liar situation because Wendy starts strong and gets strong. Liar is just bad. Does she have a visible axe rank? No, she does not. I didn't think she could use the wolf beal until Seraph told me so. Yeah, I've gotten two like knight's crest, two hero crest, two guiding rings. The promotional items have uh, changed to be extremely generous in this. Need people to come talk to Boars. Okay, what's um. Let's use the energy ring. I think it'll be hilarious. Let's do strength Belina because our units are so strong and this is the most silly way we could use this possible. Because we want to kill stuff with the wolf beal because it's entertaining and it will have 30 might against cavalry and armors. So it's a pretty good weapon, I guess. I'm tempted to give her the secret book too for accuracy on it just to be like double, triple silly. Let's also go ahead and grab supports with Astolfo and Wendy onto the Lina and give her uh, some much needed accuracy. Soul and Clarion at level 10. Uh, neither of them Ellen is, but we're not gonna we're gonna drop Ellen long term because Soul and Clarine have way better skills. Uh, let's go ahead and have people start talking to, to Boars for the EXP boosts. Because at talk conversations of this game give EXP. Like that. So, Molina level. Pretty crappy level up, but you get some of those sometimes. Land to Barf as well. We're bringing Barf down, don't worry. Get these supports. What's wrong with this hack? A lot! A lot, in fact. Where, where would you like me to start with what is wrong with this hack? But I think it's just a general sort of like everything is wrong, I think. Uh, turn, I need to turn off animations again. Saul's palette is actually excellent here. Like, Deke looks bad, but Saul looks fantastic. You have like a really weird dichotomy of, um, I have been saying dichotomy too much lately. You have a, this really weird, um, thing going on where some of the characters look genuinely hugely upgraded, like Saul has a red cape which is in his portrait to go alongside with the, like, the white priestly robes, and that looks so much better than vanilla. It's got more colors going on, it reads really well, his colors are super identifiable and striking, and then Deke is just muddy and looks terrible. That might just be the Project Ember sprite. God damn it! Yeah, you're probably right there. Does Roy use a crest? Roy promotes after chapter 16 or 16x, I'm told. Uh, I haven't confirmed that myself, but it sounds plausible. I think I think it's in the hack, like uh, in the topic, where you can buy, download the hack. I think it uh, says that Roy promotes at 16. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab some supports and we'll end the chapter. I have like 50 Discord DMs. Sheesh. Lena can promote with the Shining Bow. It's probably just like a uh, a bug. I'm going to ignore it. Any, any supports? Yep, there's one. I like how uh, Armor Knights are like, this sprite is really tall. It makes Wendy look like a six foot tall behemoth. Like, compare her next to like, like Deke, you imagine that Deke would be tall, right? But Deke is only one pixel taller than Lelina because you don't have very many pixels to work with here. But Wendy has like three pixels on Deke. Look at this. It's like four pixels when she's standing at her full height. It makes her look like a seven foot tall monster woman. Does anyone chat when the seven foot tall woman will like carry them, like bridal style? Because like, 
Like, yeah. Like anyone else? Just me? Just me? Anyone? I like how someone started spamming the flush team out. Oh, I don't want the bark support. I'm not gonna use them. I want the windy support. And once we have the windy support, we'll be done with the chapter. I assume we did hit some sort of like support point cap or something. I don't remember the difference. I only know how FE6 supports work because I played that most recently. I don't remember if there's a, su a support point cap in FE8, but we probably accidentally hit it on account of how many support points we've got in this chapter, so I'll do a couple more end turns and then just give up. One more. Oh, we got it. Okay. I guess you can just get one per unit, like prepare per chapter in FE8 then. Alright, and uh, can't Wendy support with uh, Estolfo? Don't they have like a... Actually, isn't like a, a whole triangle? Oh, now I'm just... Hold on. I'm I'm so curious now, because I think that yeah, Estolfo supports all three Alstine Armor Knights and Melina, so you can create this like triangle. We've done it. Okay, we're, we've, we've abused the game enough. We can, uh, we can end. Let's turn the animations back off. They are off. Grab like random healing EXP and then go right at the throne. Classic Saul magic screw. Why does he have so much defense? Tank Saul? Not supposed to be tanky. Okay, he has a coin flip of magic orb, which is not hitting it, I guess. I guess this is an original scene because I don't think they even talk about Hector's death. Or do they? I can't remember. I really don't remember any of the original FE, FE6 script. I kind of skimmed up my first playthrough and I was like... not very engaged by it. Because it was kind of dry. I feel like Lelena hugging Roy was not original, though. I don't think we get infinite supports. You probably still cap at, uh, 5. Be insane if you didn't. Just steal weapons. I guess I can go buy another men's staff. I seem to be using them. Yeah, that hug was very much not vanilla. They're really pushing the Roy uh, Lena relationship in this pretty heavily. I'll just use up like more throwable weapons, I suppose. I could carry around a steel axe. Let's promote Deke. He's level 19. He's looking good. We're gonna promote Deke right now. We could hit we could actually bother hitting 20. He's halfway for his level because of the over overkill on the ball CXP, but I think most of the enemies in the next chapter are low level. At least in vanilla, they're very low level. Maybe there's a promoted enemy. Do we want to promote Deke right now and celebrate, or do we want to give him a uh, level 20 to have like the ultimate Deke experience? The options are hero and ranger. I've checked them earlier. Uh, Ranger is terrible because you lose access to axes. They get removed. And axes are extremely good in this hack, so, uh, you know. That's dog shit. Losing axes and gaining bows is a downgrade. Hero is 15 con and can use steel axes, and steel axes are actually good in this, so we're going hero. Want to celebrate? Sure, we'll celebrate. I'll trust Seraph here. At this point, we have to 20. Oh, a dissenting opinion! A dissenting opinion! Sorry, Seraph, you're, uh,. Your sway over me has been parried by chat. Your, your importance has been uh, greatly reduced in my eyes. My apologies. Perhaps one day your influence will recover. So do I want to redo Wendy's items a bit? The Steel Lance is a little heavy for her, right? Uh, so maybe like we can use an Iron Lance as a general use weapon. We can use a Silver Lance and we need a strong one. Um, let's just grab some random Javelins. Heavy Spear for issues, and that seems good. Let's give a stronger weapon to Astolfo. Light Brand, he's a good Light Brand character. Steel Sword, if you need something stronger. He has 8 con, not a huge penalty. Not a big deal. Put your stuff away. 
I could promote Barf and use him as a Jagan, actually. We could do, like, Jagan Barf. That sounds good. We could, like, you know, like, stop using Marcus and let Jagan Barf, like, take it for us. I have the extra Knight's Crest. Look, three? I get that they buffed, like, the, um, the Armor Knights and, like, uh, Trek and Noah, but, like, three before Chapter... 8x? Sure, whatever. Let's, uh, let's do Barf Jagan. Let's save and look at our, our options here. Halberdier? So generals are like the uh, FEA general, where they're tri-weapon, and they have great shield, which is, you know, a troll skill. Halberdier. We're gonna look at it, I guess. He wouldn't gain any other weapon types, but maybe it's interesting? Question mark? I just saved. I'll save state. It's easier to go back and check out the other promotion if you save state. Just be really careful not, uh, never to load it. Top left corner of the UI has like an extra corner there for some reason. Three speed. Those are pretty nutty gains. I guess they're high on account of not being. Well, it makes him a worse Jagan if he just crits stuff and kills it for us. S rank lance immediately, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, we can go check the load save state. Let's go check general. Because this way, he can take one hit, and then strike back and weaken with one big heavy hit, and then someone else could kill. That'd be good for training Lelina and such. And he still gets good gains. That was fine. I didn't see an issue with that. <laughs> S-Rank Lance is right away from Altet. So true! He can use a Steel Lance. He could use, um... He doesn't have great skill. I'd probably want to use an Iron Axe. The Steel Lance really as accurate as the Steel Axe. Axes are so good! Axes are so good. Let's give him uh, more accurate weapons. We'll use, we'll use Iron. The Steel Swords would probably be fine. I don't really have many Steel Swords around, so I'll just buy one. Accurate enough. Steel Sword's less accurate than the Iron Axe. I don't know how they feel about that. Wait, the Steel Sword is heavy at the same weight and damage as an Iron Axe? It's more expensive and it's less accurate. If anything shows how shit swords are in this, the Iron Axe comparing to the Steel Sword is just embarrassing. The Steel Sword is just a worse Iron Axe. You can't use it. Iron Sword it is. I have like a better Iron Lance that on some character I'm not using. I guess I brand myself out of Iron Lances. I should go buy some then. One of these shops have Iron Lances. Slim. Oh, we found Iron Lances. Buy a few. Okay. Oh, not you. Manage items. Give him an Ira. An Iron Lance, and probably one of those elixirs. There we go. There's our filler tank. Yeah, it's crazy. Making swords bad and axes strong is like such a weird thing if you're used to what the stats are like in uh, FE6. And axes are already situationally strong in FE6 because of all the lance enemies, which helps make up for the stats. Okay, let's move on. When you typed Roy's story, I, I read it as like Toy Story. <laughs> Roy's story too. Roy's story free. Whatever. I don't think Roy can use Knight's Crest. I'm pretty sure that he uh, 
other promotes from the story, right? Isn't the Knight's Crest Roy like an Ember thing, but he story promotes on this? I do have the, the I got the 1.0 version. I'm not playing it. I just want to compare back to that once I've played this to go check some things. But I think in the 1.0 version, there's like more of the Ember PRF weapons, like Shauna's Wing Spear and stuff like that. And Shauna's already insane in this because she has aptitude. When do I get a wing spear then, Seraph? Because I know it's I know it's like they didn't remove it from the ROM, but do I actually get one? Oh, Thea. Okay. That tracks, I guess. Man, there's so many um lines they added into this to like push the Roy Lolina uh, romance. They're everywhere. Not really saying that's a good or bad thing, it's just everywhere. Oh, this is FE7, um... Uh, fan service note. I think doesn't move, have fun. You don't think that was added? Maybe it's not then. Maybe I just don't know what the vanilla dialogue is. Yeah, Henning should be fine. I have strong units. Oh, this deploy is pretty tight. Okay, let's think carefully about who we're gonna bring and who we're gonna train. Random people like Marcus are very gone, so our good units are like Deke and Shauna, for example, and Dorothy and Saul. Those are all like must brings. Um, we also want to train Wendy. That's uh, another must bring. Lena's force deploy. A common utility unit I bring is Clarine because she has the ability to heal. She has supports going on. She has spur speed. He's got a lot of supports. That's a good character to bring, probably. Okay, we're kind of limited here. We could bring Astolfo. He's uh, supporting two units I'm training, and I want to train him himself because he gets insanely bulky, so why not? Then we have one filler deploy. We haven't forgotten any one. This filler deploy could be someone like Zealot as like a Jagan, who has 10 million skills. But it's funnier to do our Jake and Barf, I think. And then that can be our deploy, and that's fine. Do these promote? I don't know what item promotes them. If anyone knows, I want to use uh, Astolfo. Did they add fell contracts or ocean seals to this? Uh, Seraph is probably his builder open is going to answer that up in a couple seconds. Why does Zell have Rightful King for his Luna procs? Okay, let's check enemy stats. They're low level again. They have high stats, but they're super low level. This is intended to be like Augie or Lolina uh, Windy training. Because they don't give much EXP to people who are trained. Some are higher level. The fighters are high level and they have Fury, so they're extremely hard to double. They have 20 strength. I see a warrior over there. Oh. He's kind of subdued, isn't he? His stats are really similar to the Axe Fighters. Thieves use a hero crest. Oh, okay. Lancebreaker is a good skill. Yeah, this warrior is, um, no other levels, so... Easy to manage. This will be a good EXP balloon. How about we have Deke kill this guy, and see if we get a, enough level to hit level 20, and we promote. That sounds good to me. What's north? Looks like mostly just unpromoted enemies still. A swordsmaster. 24 speed, with grip boost, vantage, life and death, and vigilance. Okay, 24 speed and vigilance, he has 60 free avoid. And you have to make sure you kill him quick. Ooh, he outspeeds you too, like he kind of like runs at you to try and kill you. He has 24 crit. Maybe you can actually enemy phase this guy, unironically. 24 crit is not that high if you have supports that lower crit rates on you. You can actually probably get this guy's crit rate down to zero pretty easily. And then he's not- he only, he's only like one range, so once you've like lured him to come and attack you, you can throw javelins and magic at him. He's- he's manageable, honestly. This guy's fine. 
It's okay because Vigilance doesn't work. Team Rain doesn't work. He has 24 speed, so... Why is his avoid 63? Now Vigilance is working, he's getting weighed down 4 points, he only has 20 AS. So he's getting 40 points of uh, evasion from speed, 3 from luck, and 20 from Vigilance. Vigilance does work. Yeah, Vigilance works. Rucker doesn't need the plus 30 crit anyway because he um has killing machine. <laughs> Alright, these guys have Silver Sword, this has Steel Blade, their speed isn't too high, I'm thinking that like we don't even need to do any Jagan specific stuff. I think we can just sit Windy exactly where, okay not exactly where she is, up one tile with the Iron Lance and just kind of vibe. If we get um, Sol nearby, she'll actually double. That's crazy, she's gonna double the Mercenaries and she'll just uh, tear through them, right? I don't even need Jagan Barf. What's our supports? Estolfo and Alina? Let's get supports uh, for some hit rate consistency here. Why can I talk to- oh, those are supports I don't want to- okay. Then we just pass the turn. And we make Wendy into the world's most powerful Wendy. Boink. Because I gave her a Wendy specific class that makes her better because she has unique skills that are really strong. Like Knight Aspirant, which is a extra avoid at high HP. And there she goes, still gaining every single stat. A new skill. I'll check Henning in a second. Give me a second. I want to check Wendy's skill, then I can check the boss. The enemies do be walking. I have no water. Ah, oh, Catastrophe has come to me, I'm drinking all my water. <coughs> all of them are standing on fire tiles. Alright, let's uh, check this new skill. Camaraderie. This is... kind of boring. I don't really care. That's free HP sometimes. Let's check Henning. I see five skills. Okay, let's look through them. So he always hits you. Conditional strength. This isn't you can fuck up your math this way. Like if you just kind of forget he has this, you can get yourself killed on this thing, I guess. Strong repose, that's expected. Patience. Okay, so he's annoying the hit, because he's already super fast on the throne. Pursuit. It's already hard enough to double. It's kind of the standard, like, hero mercenary setup, I guess. Plus certain blow is his personal, plus leadership stars. So if he attacks you with the Tomahawk, he's actually gonna have, like, over 150. Maybe, like, 155. Not two personal skills, right? Isn't, like, um, this a combination of personal and, like, hero and mercenary skills? Oh, wait. No, no, isn't, like, Patience, uh, Pursuit, and, like, Strong Post all stuff they give the mercenaries? We'll find a way to manage him. He doesn't seem, like, not manageable. Okay, so Zack's Fighter's coming at me. Can we just have some player phase kills on them? It's like we can. The Fighter's near Henning? Okay, I'll go check them. Uh, oh. I guess this is this is how they're trying to make enemies dangerous enough to meet up with the player's bullshit. 31 attack, Brave Axe, and tw over 20 strength, unpromoted character. The Barf dialogue's a support I'm not getting with uh, Barf and Lelina. A stealable hero's crest. Let's remember to get that with Astolfo. I'll have to put an item away in Convoy, but... Let's check for stealables, now that we know this is stealable. Vulneraries I don't care about. Probably just that hero crest, then. Mm. 
Wind Sword's not frightening me because it's magic damage, but Windy has res, so I can just kind of go full Windy mode without a care in the world. And what's your uh, your speed? 18. Can I double that? Can I say I would double? Yeah, I think if I get attacked and I have drive, if I can just double that, I think I'd double 18 speed. Maybe Wendy's strong. I'm gonna get burned, but I'll go for the skill. I don't mind getting slightly burned. Actually, let's protect her little feet. Oh yeah, the support. Oh, I know, right? I can't pick up after the support. Whoops. Do I get attacked by that archer if I go to the right? One, two, three, four, five, shoot, shoot, save. Okay, let's, uh, let's casually move some people out of the way and go get Dorothy out of the fire. There we go. Yeah, Dorothy and Clarina are girlfriends right now, I think. That's what's going on. It's hard to not have Wendy just kill everything now. Oh, look at her go! I can't remember they could kill his other characters. It was just so easy to have Wendy just do everything. Like actual work to kill with other characters. They have stats that can hit me, attacks, and or I could just let Windy fight. I guess I could be out of range of these two guys and do some Windy gaming. I could try and draw one with the hand axe to want to go on Melina because she has lower defense. So we'll split up the uh, incoming damage a bit. Give them both a speed boost from Sol. Do some support nonsense. I'm bored, so I'm also rallying Lulina for kicks. And I just need to stand out of the way of everyone else. Which they kind of already are out of the way. And we just pass the turn and let this extremely high momentum when uh, Gwendol and kill absolutely everything. Although I should maybe like slow down at some point to try and it's gonna outpace other units from also trying the train. Which is the funny part. Huh. Oh, that was fury damage. It, it, like, the, the, it like hung there for a second afterwards, like right here, it's about to hang. There. And that's actually them taking fury damage. I thought the game was like, something weird was happening. I want Deke to kill the, the rounded guy for uh, the EXP bomb. Speed for everyone! We're gonna need more. A rally. Oh, we can also just get like a uh, spur uh, strength. And let's see if this gets Deke uh, enough to promote, and we can uh, then go to the hero after level 20. We're a little short. We'll just have to get that ult spur. Where's Rucker? True! We killed Rucker in the arena because we're seeing how the arena was and Rucker immediately died the first round. Wendy, please continue the game. Please weaken people for me. I can't believe Wendy's becoming my Jagan. Oh, nope, Wendy's just one rounding. Sorry, she's too strong. I like make a distinct effort to not let Wendy really ever green ball unit. Silverbow guy. 
Let's let's find ways to kill with other units. Uh, Wendy is at 10, but she's so easy to get her EXP that we should try and get Lolina action where we can. Because Lolina's further behind. And Wendy is so easy to train. Man, that guy has no HP left. Except for every single landmine. You think they know where the tiles are in their own cave? Okay, now we just give her 10 million buffs. Have 8 speed. Why not? You can have uh, your supports nearby too, because sure. Or I can't get there to rally. No. I got this Jagan Barf isn't doing anything just because like we we don't need the Jagan set uh, style unit at this point to soften stuff up for us. Molina can just take these silver weapons to the face. Get EXP. Move her into range of this mage next. It's not their own okay cave, they can be able to steal to Randall, that makes sense. Or if I prefer Wendy, I mean, only in some areas. He has, like, a lot of strength and defense, but Wendy is very quickly outscaling him because she's good at everything to a truly comedic amount. Okay, that may have been sad, but if we go over and we death blow with more speed, then she can kill. In fact, I'll use this to get the kill because there's like an archer coming nearby, I guess. Is that- am I even in range? Oh, I'm not. I guess they can just walk towards me and then I can get the kill again. I will say, I've been playing these last couple chapters super slowly to set up these super soldiers, but I think it'll be worth it. Oh wait, I want to see something. I want to see Wolf Beal. Let's waste a use of it so we can, uh, for entertainment value. Hold on. Port's nearby. Let's get, uh, more accuracy. Let's turn on animations. There's no animation! What's the fucking point of anything? She got strength though. I think getting a wolf beetle kill gave her strength. That like invigorated her to like kill more of axes. She was like so excited to get an axe kill, she got strength. Which makes me feel like her ability to use it unpromoted is a bug. Because just like a character, if they have a PRF, they can use it. But she was meant to like wait until she got axes on promotion or something. Yeah, we'll save her uh, for her promotion. Isn't this the same for Manny Caddy Sue? What you mentioned was in this game. Animations are off. Only one for Armad specifically. That's kind of funny. Before I forget, I kind of want Deke to go like two things to promote. Although Deke might be like a boss killer for me. Well, maybe I'll just have Windy be a boss killer, so. Although, if D can promote and go hero, that'd be so cool. Let's just do that before we forget to have something exciting happen in this chapter. Get in range of an enemy. Just playing 10 million. Four different auras on uh, Deke right now, just for comedy purposes, because they just let you do that. Now, four auras isn't strong enough. Five. You know, he's still he's still a bit weak. What if he also had uh, two supports in range? He didn't even need the double! He hit back a 30 free with an iron blade. Oh. My god, is that a wind sword? I have a wind sword. Get shit on. 
not trying that hard to train Roy because he has to wait for a story promotion. And one hit fucking KO? Let's do that again, that was funny. Oh, he's ranged enemy, fine. The whatever matters. Use your fire tome, don't waste your good one. Armad Saul. Uh, you've sold me. That sounds silly enough to do it. What's his strength at? Five. I don't know if that's the meta. I'm not sure if you've convinced me about a new meta. I'd rather do Armad's Lelina. Bolt Axes for Saul. How about Bolt Axes for Lelina? <laughs> well, I mean, you could just use a Tome at that point, right? So maybe the Bolt Axes could be better saved for Saul. It's funny if we leave Deke slightly hurt, because then we could have plus four, even more might from the uh, fiery blood in one round. Sorry, one hit KO. Enemies for X. Alina only gets plus two strength, that's it? The rip off. War monks get Axe Faith, so we can use Armads forever. Oh, <laughs> really? Get us infinite Armads? It's hilarious. It's a very silly hack. I'm even gonna want to bother if Gonzalez by the time I get there. I like bald everyone, I'd use Gonzalez in account of like, uh, he has Gracia capture. I thought that would be funny. But man, I'm gonna have so many super soldiers by the time I get there. Well, am I going to want to like bother making another one at that point? Like, how much patience am I going to have to try and break this game in half? Like, how silly will I, will I make it? How far will I take it? You can steal boss weapons. Yeah, I might wait for Garrett to use that instead of Gonzalez. Let's get one more kill on Deke to finally get this, uh, this promotion going. BRFs you're not supposed to have. That sounds really funny. Capture sounds like it would break this game really hard. It's 90 damage. Rune Axe. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. It'll be like a trophy. Okay. Celebration! We know that Ranger sucks, so we're going Hero. Hopefully the sprite's better. <laughs> Usually, you cannot sell PRFs. Okay. He looks better as a hero than he does as a mercenary. The gains are nothing truly insane, but the plus two con is huge because I can use the hammer, the halberd, and the steel axe without uh, any penalty at 15 con. We also got a really bad skill on Defiant Strength that doesn't do anything. Yeah, the hero being close to vanilla makes it look a lot better. Okay, now I'll just have Lolina, oops, take more hits to the face as we, uh, get her caught up more. It's higher effort to train than Wendy. Wendy will kind of train herself, because you could just use her and she just gains 5 million stats without even trying. But Lolina actually requires effort. One rounding and doubling back mercenaries, that's the power of stacking skills. You cannot capture Zephiel, that's such a shame. 
Like, what if you could, though? Wouldn't that be funny? I think that would be funny. I think they should let you. I wonder what level 10 skill Korean gets. I remember when Shauna was like our crazy project unit we were going to be obsessed with because she has these high stats. And like these are high stats, but her defense is still single digit. And like, Wendy's just going to have every stat. So isn't Win Wendy just funnier than Shauna at this point? Shauna's mobility is always going to be extremely good, of course, don't like don't want to discount that, but like. Holy crap, Wendy. You can capture Ida, and that sounds funny. But you get like you like miss the good ending because because you didn't use the binding blade. Can you capture uh manakeet stones? Can you capture like uh fire breath? There's a lot of manakeets in the game, can I just take stones for Faye? Is that good? Manikids do not have watchful. But would they count as like something weird like a mount? I know like that you can't capture mounted units as a default, right? Do you think they have anything weird going on with that, or do you think it just works? Because capturing manikids for Fey Dragonstone sounds like the silliest shit. You'd only have to you'd, you would only have to get one, right? Does they have infinite use? Okay, the first bad Wendy level up, but somehow still okay. I feel so silly making use of these 5 million auras every single turn. It makes training like really easy, but also the positioning is taking me a long time. I'm like rolling for like minimum speed. The ability to abuse these skills is starting to make me overuse them. But like I just want to make sure that Lena is able to steadily uh, be able to one round. Lena's at double digit speed and she's just going up. We got a skill. What'd we get? I don't recognize the icon, so let's find out. Oh boy! Regen, I'm going- wait, that was like... 6 points. I thought that this was 10% of your HP. So I guess it's a 20 and the description is wrong? She healed 6. 6 is 20%. Camaraderie is twice as good as I thought. Lena's speed is coming from luck. I always get like, speed plus Lena's. I mean, watch my no damage taken video. She healed more from Bond. Oh. I guess we got Bond. Whatever. It's like a better camaraderie. Applies to multiple people. No Adept on the Archer, just gotta check for Adepts real quick. Yeah, we can fight them. Bond just like makes it really slow when you start your next turn, because you have to like wait for a bunch of animations now. So it's kind of cringe actually, right? Uh, yeah, she's a heal EXP stealer, because when someone levels up, they gain 1-8 e uh, HP, and you can heal it, and then like, Lena's like, nah, it's gonna undo that, thanks. She's only have Windu discharge and deal with everything else after this. Keep getting your supports going, I guess. Yeah, they're just like filler skills. The filler in vanilla too, I just think like stuff like Bond is, I don't know, annoying. Yeah, like actively hurts like, and like, cause like Deke is a low HP unit, right? Look, Deke is getting healed from Bond. That's literally bad because um, he needs to be at least slightly hurt for fiery blood. So Lelina now has the ability to remove four damage from Deke. So, you know, fun anti-synergy. I sure love when stuff doesn't work. Okay, I'll just move Javelin into range of these two guys. I'll get Lance Reavered. Do I care about getting Lance Reavered? 
Not like he'll crit me. I have like supports and stuff nearby. I'll get I'll, I'll get Lance Reaver. Oh, well, do I look like I care? Lance Reaver me. Now I feel like I have to like move like Lolita away from Deke like on purpose. It's like a whole thing. I expected to get more chapters done today, but wow, they've been like just these grind fests to get these units caught up. I'll probably start playing more normally soon and abuse these. I think like chapter like six and seven really trained me to abuse auras because the chapters are really hard and the only way to get through them was to like abuse the skills. Now it's really easy again, just abusing them to train units like super super slow. Axum? The wolf beal? Oh, because he has the Lance Reaver? Oh my god, it's actually guaranteed. <laughs> that, that was for you, Seraph. Are you proud? If only I wish I wish we could have wait animations for it. Rover, there are no if you, even if we turned it on, it's bugged. There are no animations for the uh the wolf beal until promotion. I would have, I really would have. Trust me. I, I think that Lena and Axe is an inherently funny thing. I would have loved to enjoy it with you, but uh, it's no go. I've got to train myself to stop abusing every single skill possible to fight a single enemy of a single unit. I can't stop doing it. It's become like ingrained to the muscle memory that like I have to like put up 10 million skills to make sure Lolina doubles, but. Her speed is getting high enough to where she doesn't need it anymore. I'm literally gave, gave her plus 10 speed that turn. I got her the 21 AS. That archer had like 9 speed. That was so overkill. And okay, we need someone who can deal with uh, this guy without dying. Uh, he doesn't do very much damage to Barf. So maybe this is what Barf was born to do. We can also reduce the damage that Barf takes a lot. I think we can get that guy to hit like a zero because we can um put Lolita nearby Barf to reduce damage by two. And we can rally and that reduces two more. Or we could just do Wendy. Wendy survives a crit with all those buffs, right? We don't even need Barf. Use Wendy. Sure. What's that, Wendy then? Because Wendy can also get the uh, two mitigation from Saul, then two from Lolita. And then more from the rally. So we're at like six extra defense from skills. Go up to 20 defense. Weapon triangle. Gosh, he has 16 defense base. Already? Then it's like 22 after skills. And then weapon triangle is 23. It's kind of. He's gonna get fucked. Oh, I do need to. I avoid these fire tiles, which is the annoying part of it. That's okay. It's just a Roy, so I can use that tile. Assault being nearby is two points of damage less. Lena's removes two points of damage for being there. We can drive strength for kicks because we have spare stuff going on. And put supports nearby. It'll take like no damage. Whatever. She won't. Double. Will she double? She has 20 speed after. This guy has like 20 speed, and then hold on. I think we need Clarion, right? No, we don't even need Clarion. Watch this nonsense. I turn on animations and watch Wendy annihilate the Swordsmaster. I like the animations for the Swordsmaster. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Wendy has a really fancy sprite. Got yeah, a good level up. So, 
One chapter after recruiting Wendy, she is one-shotting promoted enemies. I know that enemy had no auto-level scaling, but like... I feel like that was kind of ridiculous. What level is she? She's only level 12. Yeah, Doomy, that's the thing that, like, um, I've just been, like, because these auras are so powerful, I keep playing so slowly because I just keep thinking about how many, like, silly modifiers I can stack. But then I keep moving my units in super slow type formations to abuse it because I had to because Chapter 7 was so hard. And now it's broken my brain. And now I can, the only thing I'm capable of doing is abusing skills. Skills are just so abusable. Avoiding the fire is also like hardwired into my brain. I'm having I'm having difficulty deprogramming any any of this like silly behavior. Yeah, number go up has killed me. Elena has a Lelina spray. That's probably from the repository. Can I still have to save all the fire traps? Yes. There's an animal weapon triangle. Ha! Huh. I... I guess? I guess there's an animal weapon triangle. Watch the animation of the studied tome. Sure. None. This game sucks. That's a PRF! Given an animation, what was that? Come on. At least make it fire. I feel like if one person tested the length of animations on, they would have noticed that. Why didn't they fix that? Give it give it like an animation. Ah. <sighs> I just turned it off. That oh, I did the menuing so quickly I didn't even notice I turned it off. I did that completely subconsciously. That's funny. I had like literally no working memory in my head of having turned off the animations. That's hilarious. Okay, it does have an animation then. My bad. Sorry, dooming. Oh, there's brave axe guys to kill. Oh. Well, this is easy. They run at me. Here, I'll stop up with some stuff away and convoy in a second. Need to make room. Steal that. Hero crest. move back sufficiently, we can run up and steal next turn, then kill them with five range attacks. Okay. Does he have pass? Yes, Astolfo can pass. Okay. Well, that's a strong skill. I'll do a, I'll do a study tone one shot with animations on to show it off. So the Lena at level one has the ability to drop the sun on people. Is what I uh, have learned just now. Like the whole sun, just tell people of that. Man, Dorothy, you have 16 speed. These guys are so... 15? This is why I keep abusing skills all the time. I need them. 
to do basic combat against weak if they have high stats. Both defenses on on uh, Dorothy, which is super unlikely. <laughs> Local small child. To be honest, unleashing the power of the sun is what it feels like to use a Ferdy Magic Lilina in base game, so it tracks. So I was thinking that D could be the boss killer, but like, what if we just win D boss killer? We don't even need Deke. It's like Deke carried us really hard in the early game, or we could just like let Windy excel. I think it, the only thing that's more fun about this than vanilla would be the sandbox of like how broken you can make the units. Once they're all gods, I, I think I'll just like start falling asleep. But yeah, let's let's check Henning's set again. Certain blow, so he hits. Uh, attacking him first sucks because he gets pursuit, patience, strong repose, so we'll enemy phase him. Don't kill him, an enemy phase at one range. Why? That's exactly what I was going to do. There's no reason not to. I'm going to do it. There... Also, what do you mean you'll see? Is Windy going to explode? Does he like self-detonate? Does he have like a nuclear bomb like lodged in his abdomen? He's like, oh, you've defeated me. And he presses a switch and like the person next to him dies. Is it a jump scare? I'll save state in case this is bullshit, but I am going to continue with my original plan. I made a save state. I did make the save state, right? I'll double check. Yeah. Make another one. Two. I'm I'm going to act with Wendy at close range. There's really no reason not to, otherwise. Uh, he doesn't double me if it's on my turn, so it's, it's okay to just I can use the solar lance to do more damage. They'll probably tomahawk me actually, for the better accuracy. But maybe we can improve our accuracy with some supports and such. We have Stolfa Lelina. Because I'm gonna have to support grind anyway, I can do the support grind now and um, have like way better boss killing uh, ability. Silver Lance is equivalent to the Gans Lance pretty much. They're like the same. Okay, and then that's more accuracy. Five hit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because we we did the support grind, I'll just make another um, save state real quick. We'll go there. He's pretty unlikely to hit us with Knight's Aspirant, and we can uh, do support bonuses. Um. Sol, uh, speed. Green can give charm. We can rally. I'm gonna fucking him up, aren't I? Let's turn on animations. Seems easy. What you got for me, honey? Dead. Wendy level. Oh, 400 EXP, because I was boss and promoted. Bad stats. Huge offenses. Huh. I think it always uh, crits bosses at low HP every single time. I think his mini is kind of crusty. The 
Randall. Might you immediately nuke whoever's in range? Dude's got stats, doesn't he? These are Roy's. These are Roy's skills. This is a preview of, of uh, some skills that Roy gets. Maybe no, I don't think so. These are probably maybe. It'd be crazy if Roy got Tower Shield. So. Can Wendy still do this? For all the warnings, even if this guy attacked Wendy immediately on player phase, we would have been fine. I don't understand what the uh, the whining was about. We have Wendy. Do people seriously think my Wendy was going to go down? For shame! My Wendy would never lose. He only has a one range weapon. I can attack and even heal after of Clarine and get like four more speed from Spur. And move people closer, it's fine. Let's try and double him. Look! You think this guy's a problem? Fucking die, idiot. Easy fucking game! I'll never doubt Wendy again. Game's easy. Hard mode, by the way. I'm playing hard mode. Legendary Hero Roland. This is a very not serious game. I guess I could finish Dorothy's soul support before I forget. And otherwise, there is nothing else to do here. I believe you that was more difficult in the earlier versions. I think Wendy is becoming a raid boss. The legendary bosses do not get watchful. I'm so going to dupe legendary weapons. I'm going to snap this game in half. I want to make I want to make my army as broken as possible. I want to get this game absolutely no mercy. Do they ever support? I want to be up Athos for four plays. Oh Jesus Christ! It's horrifying to think about. Is Bramamon going to be for um, apocalypse then? Can't think of who else would use Apocalypse. Uh, who, who would use Oriola? I don't even know. Can you ever support Assault? Broken? Are they just giving up? Are they not friends? Do they take a million turns? I'm, I'm giving up on them. Do it later. Hey, it's Walt! I think it's really funny how many scenes Walt has. He's just... <laughs> Every single time there's original dialogue, I'm like, let's put Walt here. Huh. Why is he so obsessed with calling little Ellie Wood? I feel like this guy understands the passage of time. If he met a younger Ellie Wood, Ellie Wood would be fucking older now. You're kind of a short king yourself, Roland. You really think you can get away with calling Ellie with the little? I'm pretty sure he's taller. What's this? Another item in addition to the Durandal? Is this gonna be like an equipment? Does it give me stats when I hold it? That's a dancer ring, right? These are the FE7 dancer rings? Okay, it's apparently a ballista, according to the uh, item information here. So we have a, a PRF Ballista that we can hopefully use on Elephant or Lalam later on. What do you mean the ring is for Shauna? Okay, Jesus Christ, you scared me. I believe you for a second there. Maybe Roy can use it. If it's a PRF, I'm presuming that only dancers can use it, but like, I'll put it on Roy just to check, it'd be funny.
Sure. I wouldn't have been surprised for even a second if they did the engagement ring uh, path because of how hard they've been pushing the uh, Roy Lolina romance. Lock to Lalum. Okay. 40 uses, so they doubled the number of uses. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, unambiguously, a pretty good item. No one can use it right now because no one's trained swords. <laughs> Am I ever gonna have someone who could use this? Deke is like C rank swords. I have to like go to like a, a sword training arc. Can you have multiple S ranks in this game, like in vanilla? Because if they use the FEA engine without a patch, you're actually locked to one S rank, which would screw over Deke. Deke would be stuck at X. So, uh, maybe Roy could just use it to Randall later once he promotes, actually. Roy's a sword character, yeah, sure, why not? Well, notice the normal plot was happening and vanished. True! <laughs> you received Durandal the Blazing Blade, yeah? Oh. They removed the ability to hammer them. But they doubled their durability. So, that's like, fine. Oh, hey, it's Walt! <laughs> Walt came back! So if Walt's dead, do you still get all these Walt scenes? And this and this is Vanilla, and then they're like, oh no! And then Cecilia's gonna come here and be like, hi, I'm Matruya, and I, I don't care. Look, okay, so you know how Cecilia has this like really up-down animation? When I speed it up, she's like, oh, she's grooving! She's grooving with it! She's, she's killing on the dance floor right now. Hey, so that's the Master Knight from FE4. They made Percival a Master Knight, right? Like, that's just the Master Knight, isn't it? Yeah, I think he just replaced Marlonis with Bolt, typically. Her. Yeah, he, she has air caliber. Don't fuck with her. Even has stats in this patch, unlike the last one where she has a 10 in every stat, which is the same basis as Windy. He's a triple weapon paladin, yeah, sure. Whatever. This is. Whatever. I don't feel like reading. He's maturing into a man. I feel like that's a reference to the part where Cecilia can marry Roy with the uh, extremely awkward age and. Uh, other differences. This is a completely original scene. This map is so open. I feel like this map was there and uh, was not in Ember or whatever, so it's just like a giant empty square. Oh, it's a tutorial area! They used the tutorial? That's funny. I've never played the tutorials, I didn't recognize it. Whenever I see Walt, I know it's an original scene, because they added Walt to the story like 10 million times. And that's not in Vanilla and it's not in Ember. They're gonna confirm, uh, Roy's mother here, are they just gonna pick one? No, just a woman, no name, okay. This is, um, kind of crusty, isn't it? I don't think this works very well as a CG. That's like, the zoomed in version, right? The CGs for the sound room were lower res. Okay, that's what happened. Assumed Indian. I was kind of assuming Indian as well. Oh, is, is Walt about to be like, and my parents are Rebecca and Lowen? I think we should, uh, if they give us a recruitable Lowen, we should kill him to make Walt sad. He has a villain arc, fucks off for 10 chapters, comes back, and still sucks. That's extremely funny. I think it's funny how this this hack has three lords in it. Roy, Lelena, and Walt. <laughs> like, Walt gets as much, like, Walt has, has so much story dialogue. 
From a story perspective, he's like a main character. Walt thinks he's on the team. Oh, is this a commercial item just for Lena? Sure. They should have full on done Walt Lord with how important he is in the story. He has so many scenes. Just double down, just go full Walt. See, I, I didn't mind the scene. I think it was cute. I feel like what FE6 really lacks is that it lacks moments for the characters to like have relationships with each other and to grow and to like experience like the journey they're going through each other. Because the story is told through Roy talking to Merliness and telling him what he's going to do. So FE6 story is very dry. FE6 needs moments like this. Where people just they they just they're very young. You know, Roy's like 14, like I think Lena's like younger. Maybe Roy's 15, I don't know. They're kids. I think they deserve to have moments where they have friends and they just, you know, get to talk to each other and all that. And now the story is told from Roy talking to Walt. I didn't say it was a big upgrade, but I do like it more. Yeah, Roy's like 15. Send home units. Are we... Sending people to a nice farm upstate? Okay. Due to the limitations of this ROM, only 50 units can be in your party at a time. Therefore, you must keep track of how many units you have and stay under the limit. Well, Rucker is dead. So we can kill people? For, uh, for Sprit Dust. We can retire our units and send them to a nice farm upstate, and if we do that, we'll be compensated by a sprit dust. Doesn't this just encourage you to sell as many of your units as possible and then you can cap out magic on people? Using your sprit dusts? Who do we want to cap magic on? Think about the warp range. So we could just like give five spirit dust to Stall, right? Since he has good speed. And then ignore the war monk idea and go priest. Then have maxed out warp range and he'll be a combat unit. I give spirit dust to Dorothy, Astolfo. I'll send home units. Oh, I can only send home five units. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Walt, I know your story is important, but, uh... Oh, you can't do it! Walt is a lord! He cannot be retired. You literally cannot retire Walt. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, well, let's... <laughs> goodbye. Lou could recruit Ray, right? So we need to keep someone who can recruit Ray in case Ray is good. Who recruits Ray? Is it Lou and Chad? Lot and Wade also, I need one of them for the house in uh, Western Isles, but only one of them. I don't need Trek. Uh, Noah's dead, sorry for her. I certainly don't need Alan or Lance at this point, I guess I should. Let's let's kill people. Okay, let's pick one more person to kill. Uh, who, are we, who are we shooting? Lou or Chad? Okay, well, how about we just shoot this child in the face and get rid of him, and we can deploy Chad to Chapter 12, because there's actually chests that open, and he can also recruit Ray for us. And Lin will kill these, uh, Cavalry, and Wade, and Lou, and get five Spirit Dusts! Does Lou get talk with Ray? I... Nothing special. I mean, maybe 50 EXP on Ray if they have a talk during the chapter, but otherwise I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just deploy Chad to 12. You don't think the Western Isles Isles for the Axe Bros is in this game? I'll look that up later. Either way, I'm saving a lot for now. and I can. I don't care. I'm just killing these people. There's consequences where the game shouldn't be designed like this, and you know. <laughs> hey, Sprint Dusts. 
my god. They're just vanishing into the ether. I think we're grinding them into dust. I think we have like a giant grinder in the center of the room, and we just kind of push them in, and we have this refined spirit dust that comes out. And goodbye! You know how you can make like uh, horse hooves and stuff into glue? It's the horse It's the horse glue factory. We just made them into a bunch of glue. <laughs> yeah, bye Lou, go to the orphanage. And we stand we Thanos snap them. Oh my god, you pulled a Thanos on Nintendo, you Thanos snap the units. That's such a good joke. The guy's obsession with the Thanos gif. The armory. Okay. Incinerator and ashes, yeah. Okay, well Lelina doesn't need spirit dusts on account of her um magic growth being a little okay. So who can we abuse magic on? Um Rory's magic is really blessed. He's been using the Wind Sword. We could get Astolfo to use the Light Brand and kill everything. That'd be funny. Chlorine! That's a good one. She'd have to promote, but she has 75 speed growth. We could turn her into an offensive monster if we just fixed her with Spirit Dust, right? And she's a unit we never want to drop because she has really good skills and charm and spur speed. So Chlorine would be pretty busted. That's funnier than Solo, because she'll be like a Mage Knight. Um, Max Astolfo give him a Wind Sword. I'm definitely considering a Astolfo Light Brand and Chlorine. Uh, Astolfo is funnier because I can use him right now and Chlorine still needs a EXP. Mounted Warp though. Ooh, Mounted Warp. I think you sold me with the idea of Mounted Warp. And rescue bot, and she can hit twelve. Tw her speed goes up so fast. We can early promote her at like ten. She'll still have enough speed, and then she can become a combat unit who can also warp, and then have these crazy skills. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll give her five spirit dusts. Why not? This is a silly game. This child is full of spirit right now. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, 17. <laughs> Be fun when she becomes a mage knight. That's an average chlorine. Character has two magic and vanilla. I'm changing that. I'm rewriting the reality of chlorine. Definitely gonna give her the torch for chapter 9, because I want her to um level up now, because I want her to promote before Saul. I suddenly care about her more than Saul. Because I think she's funnier. I have a vulnerary in case I need one for some reason. Or sure, why not? Deke is a hero now, so Deke is pretty strong. I can use Steel Axes. No con penalty. 70 hit, I have 20 skill, pretty good weapon. Sell the red gem, I haven't needed to, but yeah I can. It's just sitting there because I've never ran out of money, I guess. I'll probably sell the elixirs or stray promotional items. God knows they're giving me more than more promotional items than I can possibly use. I got free Knight's Crest already. Can't use the Nini's Grace yet. And trying to promote now. She can. I was thinking of maybe fishing more strength and defense before the promote as a joke. But like, it's not like she needs it. Alconite strength cap is probably really low. She'll hit it just normally. The only thing I'd really honestly be looking for would be defense. I should probably just take my promotional gains at this point, right? She's gonna hit her 20 free strength cap or whatever trivially. Let's just promote Shauna. Why not? We have a whip. We got a whip last chapter. Not last chapter, but during 8. Let's check what the options are real quick. We have Falconite, which- look at the text on the top right. We have L I, Lee. Well, there's a space in between, so it's more like la e. And we also have e. So, do we like la e or e? This is a choice between swords and staves. I'll probably have enough staff users that I might not care about the staff utility, especially if it's a low staff rank. Um, I might just prefer to have swords, 
because it's really hard to dodge enemy axes in this game. If we're getting weapon triangle, Shauna's extremely high speed and luck means she probably can dodge axes. Uh, but I'll make a save state and I'll check the uh, the initial level one skill on top of the uh, promotional gains. Let's get for it. So two strength, three magic. Kind of overall high, got a big balance of everything. She gets stabs. Staff rank is D, which is too low for utility stabs. You'd actually have to train a little bit with men, but it's FE8 staff rank gains, not FE6, so it wouldn't be that slow. She also gets nothing new. She didn't gain anything. She already had all of these. I thought she was supposed to get a skill. I guess we didn't get a skill. Let's go check the other one, the other class, to see if we get a skill. Okay, so we wouldn't gain skill here, but we still have pretty good promotional gains. We get the two strength, we get the two speed. We get uh, a lot of defenses as well. I guess we don't get skills at level 1. How come Deke got a skill at level 1, but he got Defiant Strength, but Shauna's not? The Seraph skills sound lame. Uh, does Falco Knight get anything? What rank sword? E rank swords? That's a Kitty. We'd have to train it. Rally speed, seal speed, and lance fair. Let's stay in Falco Knight. I want lance fair. And yeah, rally speed is hilarious. Seal speed bosses too by chipping them. Well, she can carry around an iron sword. Um. It would give her evasion versus axes, because she has some, like, 60 avoid right now just sitting here. Before so any supports. So with an iron sword and her high stats, maybe she could uh, dodge an axe. With weapon triangle advantage. Okay, well, I need to find a place that sells me an iron sword, because... There's no need to have this many shops with only a couple items at once. Th these could be consolidated. It's, n it's not they're repetitive, they have a lot of the same stuff, but they're like everywhere. I don't like that shopping system. Okay. Dorothy, keep raising I guess. Uh, Wendy, I want to try and abuse and try and cap out skills here, but we could like sneak a peek at her promotions. But I want to go like full on stat abuse and try and cap every single stat on one day, so I'm going to squeeze out EXP to get her the level 20 before promotion. Oh yeah, the Flame Lance. I guess Shauna could use that instead of a Javelin. Doesn't Shauna have like 13 magic? That's probably pretty good. Magic usually hits harder. It'd only be bad versus mages, I guess. It has 40 uses. Both would use a Flame Lance. Wendy doesn't have magic, right? She only has 5. Yeah, sure, take a Flame Lance. There's a high use uh, range weapon to take take use of. Take a fresh javelin. And now let's preview some promotions here. I'm not gonna go through with them, but I do want to check them. A little sneak peek, a little treat. These are the same as Barf, but a unique sprite for Halberdier, I guess. Isn't this just lamer than her current sprite, which is like a super heavily armored, proud sprite with a giant flag and everything? This looks like a downgrade. She becomes smaller, wears less armor, and loses her flag. They made her tier 1, like a super crazy sprite, and then the halberdier is just lame. Why is she showing thigh? Yeah, I don't know. She's like... Look, look how crazy this sprite... The crazy sprite right here. Incredible sprite. Then you lose it, and you get this bad one. It's free speed. It's a lot of stuff in general. Everything but magic for the most part. Does it get a skill at level 1? It gets crit. I don't think she'll need crit to kill. We can probably make her strong enough to kill without needing to crit stuff. Let's look at general. Oh, we've seen this so far already. General still gets a uh, healthy 2 speed. Higher defenses, 4 and 3 on the defenses are enormous. 
The stat caps are probably considerably different in these two classes. Um, like, General's gonna have a lower speed cap and a higher defense cap, almost certainly, right? So I might make end up making a decision based on caps, because the implication here is that speed might cap as low as like 20 per or something on a character that could theoretically go much higher. And the res cap is also low. And I don't care about Great Shield. I think Great Shield is kind of a lame skill. So I might go Halberdier, uh, if I like the spread of stat caps more. So we'll just go and see by the length of the bars real quick to see if there's different implied stat caps. These are more even around the gate kind of stat caps. Defense still looks pretty high. That's 28 or 27, right? Speed is clearly higher. Speed is at least 25. Res and speed caps being higher while still maintaining a high defense cap actually makes me want to go Halberdier. I have the animations off most of the time anyway, and no matter which way you slice it, Halberdier in general are both sprite downgrades from Recruit. So we're going to go Halberdier for the caps, and we'll make the goal of capping every single stat but magic. Higher level skills insight for promoted Wendy. You can go ahead and tell me. We already know that I like crit boost more than great shield because great shield is kind of lame. Seraph posted the caps and those caps are extremely good. Uh, General of course has the full weapon triangle, but since it's E ranks in a uh, sword and axe, it's really you wouldn't ever want to train the sword because iron swords are pretty terrible. Uh, iron axes are actually a really good weapon. Crit doesn't have chain weapons. Yeah, chain weapons are pretty fun. General's a uh, acceptable animations then. Halberdier just looks like a downgrade. But tell me if Halberdier might get Lance Fair or something stupid, right? Oh, General also has a 25 res? The General caps are better than I thought, then. We'll actually sit on this decision. We're not going to make this decision, like, too quickly, then. Because the, the caps are way more competitive than I thought they would be. Because uh, if General... I, I like the idea of just having truly hilarious comedy strength. And the ability to use axes is huge because the axes have crazy might values in this game. If General has E axe, they can probably use Steel axes, and Steel axes, if we go look at the might and the weight and the hit, are a pretty good weapon. Um, 70 hit is usable. 15 might. She probably has really high con in general. It's 24 speed in general. Uh, you have, you're looking at the numbers. Uh, the, the number goes before the stat, the way Sarah posted it. Pavise and Lance Fair. Okay. Interesting. I'll make that decision later once we're ready to uh, promote her. Because we're not going to do it now. We're going to abuse uh, as many stats as we can get, try and cap every stat, promote a 20, go full silly with it. Either way, I don't think there's a wrong option because Wendy's just going to cap every stat and just be a monster. So, you know. We'll just pick, we'll just pick one at the time. Use up extra javelins. Douglas is broken, I'm not surprised to hear that kind of thing. Need a new tome. I have to go back like all the way here to buy tomes. Is it I think like the the first shop in the game was like tomes or something. Or one of the first shops. Yeah. How's Thunder hold up? It weighs six. Does that weigh her down? What's, uh, her con is probably four. Yeah, we'll buy a fire tome. Her con is four. We don't want to get weighed down. Speed is her issue, not damage. What a fire tome. Okay, this is probably a good time to call it. We did a lot of prep. We reviewed some promotions. We took a promotion. Deke and Shauna are promoted. Or I have to wait for story. Wendy, Lelina, and Dorothy are all working on it. I don't have enough time to do another chapter. Chapter's been taking me a while, but we've been going for a few hours. We'll call stream here. I can't stream tomorrow. Um, it's Easter, and I have plans. I want to make a nice dinner. I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie for the family tomorrow, as like kind of like a special spring treat. So I'll I'll take tomorrow off, and then I'll come back on Monday, and I will do chapter nine. So. If I see you again Monday, I'll see you there. Otherwise, y'all have a great day. Uh, if you do anything on Easter, have a fantastic holiday. Or if you don't do anything on Easter, just have a good Sunday. Have a nice day of rest. If you, you would do rest on Sunday, plenty of people work on that day. You know, <laughs> actual retail workers or something. But the general idea is 
I'm leaving. Y'all chill. Have a good time. Cheers. <laughs>